Hi, welcome to comics. I'm Ash. I'm Andres. I'm Esteban. I don't even know. Carmen. This is Luis. And that was the order that was supposed to happen in. Today I'm hosting. And for just five dollars a month, you can help. Anyway, um uh let's see what we're gonna do. When I host, we have games. Uh, I am everywhere. I am the most space brain person in the world. I don't know how I get to be able to host, but um, I'm hosting. Uh, Luis. Sir. What are the teams today? In the game. <laughs> Who's your partner? Uh, uh, that would be me. That would be cool. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> So glad I did this on Tuesday. And uh, you guys are versus uh, Andreas and Esteban. And uh, mm -hmm. it's going to be amazing. Uh, no, it's not. You guys okay. get between the two teams, you guys need to pick instead of a flipping a quarter, I'll flip in a quarter. You guys are going to answer a trivia question. So you guys will have to pick amongst yourselves who is the team captain of your team. Esteban, you. Louis. All right, I'll go. I'll be thinking. All right, about Esteban it. versus Luis, and that's going to be the trivia question. Uh, usually, we start off with comments for the week. Uh, actually, we do start off with the drink. I believe Esteban has the drink of the day, the week. I do, and as always, which uh, constantly fills my cup, is the bullet rye. Nope, it's the bullet rye. Uh, love the rye. Uh, the, the bullet bourbon, the bullet rye, uh, literally my go-to type of whiskey and bourbon. Um, the rye is a lot smoother than the bourbon, uh, but the one that I feel by far is the best is the 10-year. 10-year is delicious and amazing. So if you guys can, go ahead and pick a bottle of bullet rye. Hopefully, it could be sponsoring us soon. Cheers. All right, cool. Speaking of which, Esteban, what is your blackout drink my blackout drink Vodka. what is your that's the like i am no longer responsible for anything i do mm -hmm. today what's your blackout drink vodka vodka mm -hmm. carmen what is your blackout drink tequila tequila do you say it like that though because that's weird. yeah louise yeah. <laughs> louise what's your what's your blackout drink uh i don't think i have one it's like mixtures of shit like once i start once I get to that point of not giving like a, a fuck, jungle juice kind of thing, or like I'll be like, yeah, I'll take I'll take a, a shot of whiskey. Yeah, I'll have a margarita. Yeah, I'll have like, and then that's what gets me there. Killer combo, like toasty. Yeah. That kind of fuck thing. me up, fuck me up the next day. Andreas, which should be the most interesting. It's no, gonna I be like the whiskey from have, the Himalayan apps. Like it's gonna be something. I don't have a <laughs> uh, black drink currently, but you landed on a story time with Andres. Um, yeah. and the story time uh, features our fellow co-host uh, Esteban. Um, oh no, it's that one. Yeah. So there was a birthday party, and this was going on eight, nine years ago now, and mm -hmm. we were getting having a get together at a bar in downtown. So I was there early. Um, Esteban was there along with my brother, a couple friends, and my cousin. Um, so Esteban proceeded to order me. Uh, what did you give me? A three wise men. I get. I got you a three wise men. It was. It was a. It was your birthday, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It was my birthday. Yeah, it was your birthday. Uh, yeah. The first drink we started you off with was a Three Wise Men. And then oh. I distinctly remember your brother saying, oh, this is going to be bad. So then my cousin proceeded to get me one. And then somebody else got me one. And it was probably got there close to 10 o'clock. And by 1130, I was blackout drunk. Um, so I proceeded that night to, uh, throw my shoe, uh, in the, in the bar. Um, I vomited, but everybody was like standing around me because, so the bartenders wouldn't see. Um, I think I had like a glass of water that I tried to shatter on my head. It didn't break, mind you. Um, yeah. Uh, and I did not have the slightest memory of everything. This was all patched together from people telling me. And Esteban still owes me for that night, which I will never, ever forget. 
Cheers. It was one drink. It was. I bought you one no, drink, sir. my friend. It was your, you owe him a drink that'll black him no, out. He owes me wrecking him for uh, uh, oh, blacking God. him out. Yeah, it wasn't it, it, that. That yeah. That's a fun ticket to be able to cash three out wise whenever men. you want to drink. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I used it's to do uh, the fuckers and three wise men like in the same. That's when my liver was like, "What's this?" Yeah, <laughs> it, it, that that um, I, I know, I know, I, I'm gonna end up for that one of these days. I don't know when, but I know I'm going to. Um, I mean, who knows? I mean, cheers to that. I, I'm literally looking forward to that. So, comics goes to Vegas. Oh. Uh, I know. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm that, looking like, forward. You were, you were pretty frightened the, the day before your wedding. What's that? I said you say that you're excited for it, but you were pretty frightened that day before your wedding. Oh yeah, the night before. Well, the night before our wedding, I was challenged, and there was there was tussling in the in the parking lot of a mall. It was a mall. Yeah, it was a mall. That we, uh, I forget what it was, but the fucking day you got met Slash or saw Slash, I fucking didn't show up because I couldn't. No, 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 that was all fucked up. No, but it was it was the night before my wedding, uh, and we got shit faced drunk. All of us, everybody got shit faced drunk. It was at, fucking at amazing. The, at the sushi spot, sushi at the, spot, the sushi spot right there at the Montebello Mall. Yeah, yeah, we got shit faced there, uh, and then I don't know how it happened, but Andres and I ended up actually. It wasn't a fight, but we were like grappling with each other. Uh, like literally the day before the day the night before, the day before my wedding, so for my jeans. So I had to, awesome. I had to apologize to his wife to be. Yeah, it was fine though. Fucking love it. it was, so it was awesome, Luis. Do we have comments this week? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, by the way, I didn't cut off your story, did I, Andres? No, we're good. Okay, good. No, uh, but you definitely did cut off Louise when you were just about to ask him a question. Oh, well, Louise, what's is there any comments for the week? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, we got What time did you wake up? Like 3 minutes before the show with that hair? Are you okay? Do you need to talk about it? It's been a long day. Hey, leave the man alone. Are you gonna are you gonna answer him, Esteban, or is he gonna let him oh, talk to you like that? You know I love you, Luis. Bruh, he's not talking to me, he's talking to you. Only. I love you Luis. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Um and yes, fuck you. I'm tired. All right. <clears throat> uh so yes, we do have some some comments on it. And uh, uh for those of you that are listening to us now, um due to unforeseen circumstances, we weren't able to record two episodes ago. And so that's where that week off came. But it looks like a lot of people were responding on the comments as far as like the fuck. So uh <laughs> we're gonna go over some of those right now. And it actually it, it actually makes, makes me uh makes me feel happy that you guys actually missed us. So it's like that means we're doing something right. Um starting with uh, Melissa Morales, cheers to the movie theater workers and service food, food service heroes. If you're dating a person that's rude to them, run. P.S. Yes. Off, right? Sorry. Yes. Who pissed off and dressed this episode? <laughs> LOL. Thank you for the recommendations for the comic books. I'm always mad. That's my... Remember? <laughs> oh, wait, there's, there's a meme comic. coming out That's for that. Fucking cool! I'm always <laughs> mad. <laughs> so, that was Melissa Morales. Thank you. Uh, if um, um, He's always I angry. Work- I wore the shirt early on, uh, the one with the possum. I'll bring it on where it says "always pissed." I'm okay. already. Yeah, <laughs> and this is a, is the Bruce Banner of, of our group. That's I love that he possum. He's the Bruce Banner of the group. Um, All right, seeing then... that we have three subjects, sorry, pause on the comments. Yes, sir. All right, so only Esteban. Andreas is the Bruce Banner. Even if it's a different, even if it's JLA, like who would you say Luis is? Who would you say Carmen is? Myself. We'll do this again, like later on down the line. But only in Esteban's opinion today, what who it's Luis, and then what's Carmen? Who was my Luis would probably be more of a Green Lantern. Hey, that's what uh, I was thinking. Yeah, I see. I see Luis as a Green Lantern. Um, Ash, you're more of a you're more Flash, dude. Like yep. with the witty cup. Comebacks and the comments and shit. You were you were far from say, Batman. Was it, it going to like? No, no, I never like never expected Batman. Never. Expected no, I know, Batman. but I'm just saying. I'm just saying because I know you associate a lot your, uh, yourself a lot with Batman. You're far from Batman. Like far, 
from Batman. You're Flash, <laughs> like legit Flash. Carmen, an insult. It's not an insult. Uh, okay. Carmen, I've known you for 32 episodes. Never really hung out with you. So I'm going to lead more towards Black Widow uh, because mm-hmm. it's more of the, like, you're quiet but the, so, sometimes, but, like, when you need to be, like, you're, like, she has okay. her, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So it's not, it's not like it's a bad thing or anything like that, but I'm just saying, like, right now, I'm saying right now because, like, never hung out, you know, before, but knowing you 32 episodes now, I, I see you more as a Black Widow. And yourself? I'm Iron Man, bitch. Okay. Oh, <laughs> What's that? The next comment. Next comment, next comment sorry. Uh, all right. Next one is Zach, a friend of the podcast. Another great episode. Ash, thanks for finally getting a new mic. Just turn <laughs> off your damn music, please. It's very distracting. Yep, for sure it's me. So I'm going to put a pause right there. Okay. We have learned that it actually, last episode, it actually wasn't Ash and it was Carmen. <laughs> However, she did own up to it. And uh, I mean, granted, she didn't do it on the episode. And so she just let us shit on okay. the Ash for like a solid 10 minutes. Before, before, by the way, I knew it was Carmen, but look on her face. Uh, and I was just was like, I'm not going to bury Carmen. So yeah. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm not going to bury Carmen. I saw the look on her face and I was like. Stop on the wrestling term. I'm not going to bury Carmen. I like it. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, I really do apologize, guys. I didn't know that you could hear it. Through... Yeah, not 32 episodes of me getting shit on, but yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> not for sure. First of all, when when it first got brought up, I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't oh know. God, what are they? What are they talking about? Like, what? I have no fucking music playing whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, like, Ash I do, don't take I, his but I do He's apologize. Like, There's <laughs> a band practice going on at the same time that I record this, so I am sorry. Um, it won't happen again. No, I, no, never say that. Yeah, don't say that. Okay, but. no, it's all good. Like, uh, being in a band, whatever is 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 so much fun. It is. It's good. Good job. Good for um, him. And a second piece to that comment, still from Zach, can we please discuss Jupiter's Legacy on Netflix and Bad Batch on Disney? By the okay. way, Bad mm-hmm. Batch Hunter equals Solid Snake. Am I right? No. No. <laughs> uh, I, haven't, I haven't started Bad Batch, but uh, okay. I don't know. since we were Wait, talking are about we, How are we on Jupiter Ascending? Maybe we can add this as a subject. Do we, Jupiter's, anybody Jupiter's Legacy? Jupiter's Legacy? Jupiter's Legacy? Why do I say Jupiter Ascending? Is that my Mercury? Because you're a big Chinese Maybe Tatum it's fan. ending. Yeah, That's Jupiter else, Ascending right? is... It is yeah, something Jupiter, else. Okay. It's Wachowski's film. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, sorry. Little Jupiter's Legacy. Has everybody seen it? I am um, a singular episode. Okay, we'll wait for next week. All right, Luis. Two episodes in. Yeah, yeah same. We, I, we I, can I got ta- two episodes left. <laughs> we, can, we can talk about the start of it, because I have some yeah. solid opinions about it. All right. Um... Okay, so the next one, we got two more comments left. Um, next one is Heavyweight. Fine. Yes, thank you, Heavyweight. I love you, Heavyweight. You're, you're the shit. <laughs> and this comment starts, Dear 8-pound, 6-ounce newborn baby Jesus, <laughs> thank you for bringing comics back. I was with a trainee telling him how much he would enjoy this show, and I, I swear I was checking for a new episode every 30 minutes for about two hours. Then I gave up, and then we just re- I re-listened to episode thirty. My oh, trainee oh. thought, uh, my trainee thought Ash was Sin Dog. Ha ha. <laughs> Either Sin Dog or fucking Hootie. Either way, I get it both. Uh, but yeah. So uh, again, yeah, it was just some unforeseen circumstances that happened, but. Uh, we'll be better with communicating if if we don't release an episode. We're gonna have uh, some episodes in the tank. But we love you, heavyweight. Thank you. Sir. Just know if we miss a show, it's a situation. It's never. It's never just we're For lazy. Funsies. It's a. Uh, we haven't missed in fucking thirty-one episodes, so it's it's a uh, it's a thing. That was that was the last two, or the, that was the last one. Uh, there's one more. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. 
And then the last one is from uh, another friend of the podcast, Ultra Turtles. Uh, he is uh, one of the co-creators of of uh, Comics Comics Alliance, uh, they where they review comic book issues and follow their Instagram page if you're interested and in comic podcast. book art and their fucking really podcast. Good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, honestly, their comic uh, their uh, their Instagram page, I fucking love it because I they post the different variants and they post the different thing. It's like exactly mm-hmm. what I want. They don't spoil a story. It's like, hey, this is about this. Check it out or don't. This is about this, like, and it's just very good, insightful shit. If you're either if you're into comic books or if you're interested in diving a little deeper into comic books, uh, Comics Alliance on Instagram. They also have a podcast that goes really deep into like the nuts and bolts of a comic book. Uh, but anyway, Ultra Turtles uh, is he saying? Oh, and this is a comment off of a new video that we posted up called uh, Comics Plays, where we did our first uh, video game review. It says I'm going to love comics. Pl- I'm going to love this comics play series. Wish I can play survival horror games all the way through, though. But my fear takes hold of me very easily. Haha. <laughs> and uh, I totally get it. That game was fucking scary. The game I reviewed was Resident Evil Eight: The Village. And if you're into video games and you're looking for an excuse to just put some time away and maybe lose some sleep, Resident Evil is definitely the way to go. What's the one that I have that I played? I'm asking you what I have. The one that I just, uh, the Resident Evil that was like almost like Doom. Almost like, uh, that's seven? That's the almost, one that have, is that brand new? That one's brand new. It just came out oh, okay. last week. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, is it first person, third person? You, I Now I feel like it was part seven. I, I just finished the, oh, no, I am finishing The Last of Us in which there's a, weird sex scene in it and uh, it was like off-putting it was a weird not it was very off-putting because mm-hmm. i did not expect it spoiler and it was not it was it was it was it was like watching your cousin get fucked it wasn't it wasn't good there was nothing wow there was nothing, wow. Okay. nothing good about it but that's a rating watching your cousin get fucked is a rating <laughs> it's not a wow. good rating no, wow. no rated not, rated not, W. Rated W for <laughs> watching your cousin. <laughs> uh, just a uh, why this podcast does not support incest. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I said it's not good. I, it would be different if it was like, oh, well, then I got real into it. No, it's not. It's a negative race. All right, now I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> neg- was any of that positive? Uh, so that's mean, coming that, from you. It depends. <laughs> That concludes our comments. Um, again, everybody that uh, comments on our on our uh, Instagram, on our YouTube, we appreciate the support. We appreciate the feedback. If uh, you have any opinions of anything that we talk about here or on any one of our shorts, please comment, and we will read on the next episode. I have Back an idea. Ash. What do you guys think about the one of the eight times I'm going to host this year? What do you guys think about having uh, Zach and heavyweight versus your two teams of that week? So like say Zach and heavyweight versus Carmen and Esteban versus Andreas and, and uh, fucking Luis. And we just call cool. it. Yeah. If, you can, if you can talk heavyweight into it, I know he said he wasn't down to, to be will. on camera. He might, but... he might. Yeah. But we'll, we'll work that out. Yeah. Or Steve and Stevie and Zach well, could be another one. That's if cool. he doesn't want to do it. All right, so as I say, I am hosting. Who are the team captains? Uh, me and Luis. All right, are you guys ready? Because it, be, it will be uh, the first person to answer the question. Okay. Okay. Mm, you guys ready before I say this? Yeah. Michael yes. Keaton played a cop in what Quentin Tarantino movie? Jackie Brown. Boom! You guys have the fucking first first question. Sorry, Carmen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that was his only Quentin Tarantino. He, he Instagram me going, fuck, I got to get ready because... <laughs> uh, all right. Um, the first game is going to be called Name 5. The way this game works is you guys will have 10 seconds to name five of whatever category I'm about to give you. 
Wait, wait. I'm sorry. What? So this game is called Name Five. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you a category. You will have mm-hmm. 10 seconds to name five things of that category. Okay, got and it. If I said shoe brands, you got to name five shoe brands in that category. I mean, sorry, in that 10 seconds. Got it. Got it. Okay. I like that you went with shoes and explaining to a girl how to play categories. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Let's say purses. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the makeup. In this. You know what's sad is the one time, the eight times one that I've time. done one time that I do explain <laughs> the game, shat on. So that's how that <laughs> I am going to bring up the timer and put it to 10 seconds because it's set at 10 minutes for when I used to do jump rope. <laughs> that got sad. Real that got sad real quick. Okay, so uh <laughs> 10 seconds. Wait, so who's going first? Uh, Esteban, because he won the mini yes, game, right? Are. Esteban and Andres are going first. Again, yeah. in the 10 seconds, I'm going to yeah. give you a category. And That's you good. have five things of that category. Ready? 10 seconds starts after I say what it is, because that's not going to help you. Name five movies with robots in it. With what? Robots. Oh, on, I heard I heard rogue bot. Right, seven like, what? seconds. <laughs> uh, fuck you, I robot, uh Transformers, uh, Transformers 2, uh Transformers 3, Transformers 4, Transformers 5. That's three. You guys are at three. The entire Transformers franchise. <laughs> that you guys are at Bumblebee? three. <laughs> You're a cock, he asked the question. That's not. <laughs> Did I, no, legit- I was at three. Only counting. The only I reason legit- I was, was somebody didn't hear me and somebody did hear me and say what it was. Oh, so it's my fault. Got it. Okay, cool. Why do I? Why? 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 <laughs> <laughs> next, next time my host hey, is going to be like, this, hey, this is. Oh, so. so. Yes. Okay. So your guys' team. Mm-hmm. You guys okay. have ten seconds. Mm-hmm. And as soon as I say, as soon as I finish the sentence, I'm hitting the button. Name mm-hmm. name five movies that are set in the future. Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Marathon Man. Terminator. You guys are set at three and three. All right, so the Venom Let There Be Carnage came out. The trailer came out. Wait, uh, wait, wait. Hold on. No. So yeah. we're like at one and one? Or we're tied. zero, zero. Tied. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Uh, okay. Venom Let There... And I wasn't real... I wasn't real set on it being Woody Harrelson. But after seeing mm. the trailer, I'm fucking really down. Um, Woody Harrelson, I'm used to... Okay, so... I'm going to get the name wrong, but I know Cassidy's in there. Is a real lanky guy. What, what's the name, Andres? You were going to say it. No. Nope. He's a real lanky guy. And Woody Harrelson is very non-lanky. Well, so I kind of didn't, I didn't see it, but I didn't remember how fucking great of an actor Woody Harrelson is. Because he's been, he's he's not been the main character for a while, except for uh, True Detective. Uh, he hasn't been a main character. He's been like the guy that shows up to be your Mr. Miyagi. He shows up to be the hitman that, that trains the hitman. He hasn't been like natural born killer status for like a long time. And when I saw him and when I saw the trailer and I saw the way he's delivering lines, I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, like like Woody Harrelson's the shit. What do you guys think? Uh, uh, Luis. Uh, I'm going to watch it when it comes out. Uh, I don't have a lot of hope for it. Like my heart sank when the trailer started because mm-hmm. there were things that I felt the first movie didn't do well. That I Is that the that, comedy part? Are you, do you feel like they don't pull off the comedy very well? You know what? I don't, but I'll accept the comedy if if the rest of it is good. Like uh, they made like they're def- You can definitely feel that Sony is leaning into 
we're going to make this, uh, we're trying to make this Deadpool, you know, like we're going to make yeah. Venom a little yeah. funny and he's going to not necessarily break the fourth wall, but he's doing things that you're not expecting him to do. So they're leaning into it and it's obvious. Like the first one, it was like, it didn't know if it wanted to be a drama, a real action film, if they're going to let it to be kooky. Um, and so that way it was it felt all over the place. And so here it's like, okay, you get a second shot here's what the fans thought and right off the bat it's like venom is cooking with a high flame and turning on a blender and there's a bunch of noise going on and it's like venom wouldn't like that like venom wouldn't do that like that the fire he's weak against so that that would freak him the fuck out he would he would right yeah back and then the same with the sound and so but like yeah here you go eddie enjoy your breakfast eddie like and it's just like uh, like I'm trying, like <laughs> I'm really trying. Like, would it? Would it? I'm, more I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it. I would just, it more uh, interest you to a guy that wants to destroy everything and Superman? Do you know what I mean? Like, if you if you had like a if you had Thanos and Superman in the same person, is that more interesting to you? Does that make sense? Like a guy that would rather. There's like it's almost like the ultimate like um, how do you, I don't even want to I don't know. Well, I'm here's the thing is like a Venom, little bit more serious where maybe the 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 light heart is the good guy, but there's a guy that really instead of let's eat her like instead of that kind of a line like it's legit, kind of like the first one, but again more serious. Like the first one was kind of like Eddie just stopping Venom like over and over and over, right? Yeah, like um, you know what. What I thought the comedy was landing was in the first Thor. It was a very like fish out of water type of thing where he didn't know he was doing things that were not okay. Like the when he drinks the coffee, I'll have another, and he throws it on the floor. And he's like, "We don't do that." He's like, "I meant no disrespect." Like, and it was just very like, "Like, what are you talking about?" And so, in comic book, when he when Brock talks to Venom, they they're uh, uh, they're allies, and so they talk to each other as such as opposed to one being all kooky like he never was it was just very much like why can't we do this it's like we can't we're supposed to blah 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 but it's just it's coming off a little campy which again they're leaning into it which i'm fine with like because they're they're not trying to be something else they've identified themselves here and they're they're moving into it it's just um i just hope it goes well Esteban, do you feel like they made enough money to stay in the realm that they've created? No. Um, I think I think Sony is trying to double down on <laughs> is trying to double down on the kookiness of the relationship between Brock and Venom, uh, and they're doubling down hard on that. And oh. uh, and I agree with Luis. It, the symbiote would not like the loud noises or the fire. I mean, again, this is coming from comic book nerds. It's like, that wouldn't happen. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but, I mean, Sony's, they're doubling down on it, and they saw that it worked, and I think what they're doing is that they're trying to appeal to the 13 and older crowd um, because of it being PG-13, being, again, rated PG-13 like the first one was. Um, so they're, they're trying to stick with that and they're trying to, they're, they're playing it safe at this point. It worked the first time. Why wouldn't it work the second? So I think that's what they're doing. Uh, I didn't watch Venom in theaters. I waited until it was like a free preview on stars. You know, that's when I ended up watching it. Um, but I mean, it, it was enjoyable. I, I didn't hate it, but there were things that I found that weren't like that wouldn't happen or that's not how it works. And uh, my biggest gripe with the Let There Be Carnage trailer is, again, you know, Cassidy is supposed to be this real lanky guy. And what I'm afraid of is that they're going to make Carnage look the same as Venom. It's just, it's just going to be red. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah. Uh, we already saw in the first one that Riot was making weapons out of a symbiote, who was the one that did that the most, Carnage. So it, I see, I see them doubling down on the comedy part, but I see them possibly duplicating the first movie, you know, as far as Carnage and having Carnage be like Riot in a way. So I'm, I'm not sure. Carmen, would it be more interesting for, say, uh, Eddie Brock to figure out a way to identify with Venom? Like, 
we don't want to do this because you want to kind of kind of like uh i want to use the word abate but i'm not sure if that's right kind of like push off like oh you don't want to do this because Whatever, like, if he wants to destroy everything, like, we don't want to destroy Superman, Superman, excuse me, Spider-Man, because there was only there was always a way Eddie Brock kind of dealt with with Venom. Mm -hmm. And what do you what do you think? I know I fucked up my whole question on that, but I just feel like there there could be a different way of um, it could be more interesting in that Eddie could deal with with Venom a different way, like make it seem like it's beneficial to him if we do the good thing, but in a horrible way. Does that make sense? Um, yes. Okay. And, uh, I'll tell, and no, no, no. And I'll tell you why it makes sense to me. It makes sense to me because I have not, I'm not so familiar with the characters, right? And like, the history of the comic and how they're represented. So to me, watching the the Venom movie, I was like, oh, okay, like it, it's all right. And then, uh, you know, you guys or your reactions or even um, people that I'm close to, they're like, that was shit. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, but like, why was that shit? Like to me, it was a fine movie. And then they explained to me, like, that's not, Really, like how they interact or how the characters are and like it's just not an accurate representation so um saying that you know when I watched the second trailer to me again I said I was like oh I dig it like it's fine with me you know but then uh, I I read um Luis's reaction to the trailer which then makes me understand like more of the character and dig into how they both interact with each other and what carnage and the characters how they develop differently than what is presented to me but again from me coming from a perspective of like mainstream for this particular subject or this particular characters, it's a fun movie. You know what I mean? So if Sony to me is doing a good job representing this, even though to somebody like Louise or somebody that's into the comics or that knows how these characters are supposed to be represented, it's obviously not doing it justice, but see, I don't know that. I would have to dig in to n understand and to know that. And so to when I see the trailer, I'm like, oh, hell yeah, give it to me. Not give it to me. That's wrong. Um, but, um, well, actually, no, no, no. Let's... Oh, because of Tom Hardy? I hear you. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Tom Hardy, please. Yeah, go ahead. Um, but, um as far as the character goes, um, the trailer to me was fine. I understand how we don't like it as far as a comic representation and the true nature of the characters. Um, hopefully they're able to do it justice. I know that when I watched the first one, um, the people that I watched the movie with had a lot of problems with it. So I know it's problematic, but to me, it was fine. It wasn't like outstanding, you know, but hey, whatever. Not a lot of things are nowadays. Okay. Well, you're calling out Tom Hardy on the podcast. Hey, Andreas, uh, yep, you, this is another way of Sony not releasing the reins to a character and thinking like they know better, even though S Sony did a, a good enough job with spider-man but it never he got more interesting once we dealt with the other marvel characters like like mm -hmm. clearly marvel would have knows venom so do you feel like later on we'll see the venom that we need to see or like what do you think what did you uh, think of the trailer and then what did you think of my question not uh, what do you <laughs> <laughs> Your question was you for uh, um, no. I, <laughs> I just meant made it more concise. Yeah, never. I drink a lot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, what did I think of the trailer? I didn't watch it uh, because I didn't watch the first movie. 
Oh, and I didn't watch the first movie because the first trailer looked like dog shit to me. You're not. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't. The symbiote looked weird in the first one, just from the trailer, from what I saw. I didn't, like I said, I didn't see it. Um, yeah, I could see. I don't have a problem with uh, Tom Hardy playing uh, Eddie Brock. Um, I it like that is a much better casting than what they did in Spider Man Three. Hmm. Um, with Topher Grace, so. Topher Grace. <laughs> but also, like, if you're gonna go, okay, so you got someone that could be comparable body size to the character, that's good. Uh, then how about follow through and make the symbiote like it is in the comics? Because I know how um, you guys are saying, like, like if you don't know the character, and yeah, like Louis said, it's like, oh, he's fucking making breakfast, and the flames set all high. And the music's all fucking loud. Those are like prime weaknesses for that character. Like when Superman had the symbiote and he was like fighting to like regain control. Like that's how he used like the fucking bells. And that, that was like always a fallback that Superman had. It was like, okay, he knows he's weak against fire. He's weak against sound. So that's something that he or else he would just get the fucking his ass fucking beat because uh, the symbiote and Eddie was that much more powerful than him. So that was something always he could rely on. Um, so that like they're taking away a prime weakness from the character. And it's just uh, the detrimental to the whole storyline in that case. Because when they eventually do come across, it's like, okay, so we know that's not going to be an issue. So there's nothing behind another way to outsmart them. It's, yeah, it's cool, but it also isn't, I guess, core to the character. Mm-hmm um so okay that's cool um would i like to see him in marvel yeah it's fucking like venom is like one of my favorite characters if they did it right so like when we got to it for grace it was like ultra disappointing um it would have been cool to see tom hardy and the black symbiote so we're probably not gonna have it because we get that both eddie like in the comics we get that eddie brock and the symbiote both hate peter parker slash spider-man so that's why they're a good pairing um because they're more similar than uh peter parker was with the symbiote because he was going against his true nature so the symbiote and eddie brock are like one being when they're together so that's what i wish was more more like it um but yeah i guess sony had to do what they had to do and cash in their bucks so i don't know how they're gonna play that off in the future but yeah i would love to have have them in a fucking marvel movie but there's yeah, times where, where Venom has Spider-Man dead to rights, and it's just it's almost like like Batman saying, "I just want you to know that I beat you." Like there's just times like that where like it doesn't it doesn't happen, even though he's just he's Spider-Man's dead or gonna die. Like Venom just doesn't pull the trigger in the comics, at least. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's where you guys are really gonna hate me. Um. There are going to be two games, and I already fucked up because this was supposed to be at the beginning of the show. Uh, your wild card is going... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm only looking at Luis's face because he's already done with life. He's so done. Like He's like, he'd rather sign off and go to sleep and wish. <laughs> um, it, it can be... Whatever accent you want, but as soon as you stop, whatever idea. This was no. This was told to me. I get to bring up this game when I host. That's what was told to me. So Mm -hmm. you guys get to pick whatever accent it is. Once you stop with the accent, it has to be with all within everything, all categories, everything that we do. You have to do the accent. As soon as you drop it, you're out. And then your your team is not out, but just you are out. So if you are uh, Carmen talking to Lu- Luis or however you're going to do it and not in the accent, you are out. Throughout the show? Wait, or wait throughout what the- about if we're talking show, about a subject? No I still what? have to talk in an accent? There is no if- pause. Everything. Not everything that. that we're doing. Two. Have you guys ever played King's Cup? We will not yes. be playing more. But have you ever played King's Cup? Yes. Okay, you guys know what Thumbmaster is? Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. 
Thumb Master, which I should explain anyway, Thumb Master is if I have my thumb on the table, the last person to put their thumb on the table has to drink their drink or take a sip of their drink. Mm -hmm. This game will be called Peace Master through the entire show. So I'm going to do, I'm going to hold up two fingers. Yeah, you will. I'm going to hold up two fingers. The last person to take their drink, a drink of their drink. Ah, eh, that's not my fault. The last person to take a drink of their drink has to take a uh, sip of their drink. But once that happens, they become. I'm sorry, please, please rewind. Okay. The so last person up. to so take Robert, a drink Robert, Robert of Robert their today. drink. Santo, mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Hey, so Luis, you thought you were going to go to bed early today, huh? Through the show, through the show today, I'm going Not to. Today, hold motherfucker. Up. <laughs> through the show today, as I'm hosting, I'm going to hold up the peace sign. The last person to hold up the peace sign has to take their drink. But once they take their drink, they become the peace master, and then I'm in the game. So this is through the just this show. I, I like first first off, I love the fact that you know whenever we interrupt you, Ash, you get like super frustrated. So now you no, just understand. Don't. You know, oh, nothing changes. I mean, it's who's just because the, who's the key master and who's the the gatekeeper, the gatekeeper. or what are we doing here? He's master. Also, he is explaining the games to us when we're already maybe like well halfway into the podcast, and, we really, and he's and we like, really "This was supposed to be happening throughout the podcast." Yeah. Love that. But now we're starting, so it's even less. So it's less time to get fucked up. Thank you. Love so, okay. I am the you, oh, did we just dab? What is one, this, 1990? One, because the dab happened in 1980. The I am the peace master. And then two, you have Peace master? not done anything in accent. So I will say in my countdown of three, two, one, you guys will have to choose an accent. Three, mm. two, one. No. Okay, so that's one out. I already knew he was going to do it. As soon as I fucking said I was going <laughs> to... So, in this, I am the peace master. Oh, so, okay, so again. So if it, it becomes three to two... Oh, no. If it becomes three to two, who that's that's your, your wild card win. So you could either tie... Or if it's three to three, that would have been your win. Savvy? Everybody get it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was that your accent? What accent was that? Was that Canadian? Or do you do Me? you tap? Yeah. Do you I tap? didn't pick one yet. No, I didn't pick one yet. Okay. You counted it down and nobody said anything. The only one that said something was Andres. He's like, no, I'm out. He said no, and he was already out. Yeah. All right. All right. Accents after three. Two, one. Mexican. <laughs> All right, so it's down to Esteban and Carmen for accents. You said we have to say what accent we're no, doing. No, you have to speak in the fucking accent after three, two, one is what right. <laughs> said four times. That's why he said that. You got to speak like this when you talk to him yeah, you so that he knows okay. that you're speaking in that accent. I wasn't that understanding. Weekend, Dominican? I, w I wasn't understanding. He didn't explain it very well. I did explain it. Explain <laughs> it very well. Yeah. So well, I'm not as stupid. So, I know you're hey, explaining it well. Just, uh, when, when they try to cancel the show, do just not, uh, yes. Uh, up please, that do, I am the please one. do not try to cancel us. Because I'm the one that said no. Oh no! This is not meant to be weird. This is not meant to make fun of anybody. This is only no, meant to not be at all. Of no, of course not. Fucking, you could be Icelandic. They don't get offended by what, anything. What exactly would be an Icelandic one? Motherfucker, I'm trying to run a show here. Okay, I, you so. said, and I don't know you what it is. You already said that. No. You already said that. You already said that. Four, 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 score and seven. The Swedish chef from uh, uh, Swedish yes. chef from Sesame yes. Street. Four, four, four. <laughs> Yes, that's that would have been your accent. You could have just done with that. But all right, I so I would like to apologize in advance for how problematic this show is about to get because okay, so we are out. made. You're no, okay. I'm not. No, you want me to talk in an accent while I am 
apologize. The entire time it has to be in the accent. It's going to oh, be right here. Oh, I am apologizing for not speaking in my accent. <laughs> so well, I want to know what that was. It's Please. down to Luis. I was trying to do your Puerto Rican girl accent. Okay, so. No, no. I, I was better than that. I like to talk like this. And it was better than that. What you were talking about, okay? Oh, my career in HR canceled as fuck. I drank it. <laughs> I mean, Andreas is the peace master, and he has to drink a little bit of his drink. Because as the peace master, I there you go. Oh, Love oh, that. He's just going to be a dick about this whole show. I don't have any more beer. I don't, drink. I don't want any accents, and I'm not going to drink. This is going to be a great show. I will go get another beer for you. Is that fine? Oh, thank you. Please. And then okay. take a drink. Thank you. But then after that, you're Peace Master and I'm part of the game. I guess and I should probably go get another drink too. And yeah, we're going to yeah, have like this for the rest of the show. It's, mm, thank no, you. You're done. Much. You're done. No, no. You now like I don't, dude. Now, now I don't want to take a bath. <laughs> Are you that Italian now? Super Mario? Um, what was um, that? Um, Italian, I am Caribbean. All right, and Luis, also you please. agree with me that after my countdown, twice, your partner's out. No, Luis is yeah. hiding, yeah. Yeah. hiding in embarrassment the because he's like, I cannot believe Carmen is even participating in this shit, okay? That's not what I was thinking at all. <laughs> I was just thinking, thinking how why do I do this show? Ever, ever meant to, you're just doing an accent. You're not doing blackface. You're no, doing- I was just thinking how wonderful it is that there was just dead silence in the show for a while so that everyone could get drinks, which is great for everyone listening at home or driving or doing whatever. I guess but thank you, Andres, a... for getting beer based off of the host's command to go do it. So you're welcome. I was only doing it. So I had your drink. So I'm looking for Zul, the gatekeeper. Is that what? You're, so anytime you hold up a peace sign, but you have to hold it up, it can't be like this. So anytime you hold up the peace sign, hold it up. The last person to hold up the peace sign will have to take the drink of their drink. I thought we had to drink, and that's why I was drinking. I- you did have to drink. You got the drink, and now you're the master. Like, show Wait, because Wasn't he the last one that did not get the big yes. time? So how that, does that that's make why, him? That's why he's drinking. That's why he's drinking. Have so he has the title. He had to chug. He's doing this all day long. Now it's got him. It. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That, Understood. That's three times you're out. Hey, this is, this is the type of show Devon, you this all get and then you guys have the point. Got the point? His accent. All right. So, uh, so, peace sign. You guys have a point. Uh, Luis and Carmen have a point. Is that correct? One and one? Yes, one and one. Thank you, thank you. All right, so the next game is going to be called Celebrity Fun Facts. And these are based on the internet. So, Because uh, everything on there is true. That's right. That's why we drink. These are, these are based on the internet, so these are not based on... Richard uh, here with a gerbil in his ass. Okay, 100% facts. Question. All right, so the last person to get a point, the last team to get a point was uh, Andreas and, um, and Esteban. Do you guys want uh, selection one or selection two? Selection one and two are two different. Okay, so the way celebrity fun facts works, or I'm going to say a celebrity fun fact. You guys, <laughs> fix on that one. <laughs> you guys are going to choose uh, in a. It's an A, B, or C. What, what the fuck is the word I'm looking for? Multiple uh, choice. A, B, or C. It's a multiple choice. Multiple choice. <laughs> multiple choice. Thank you. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I fucking told you. It's going to be a multiple choice question. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Huh. I've never not been the druggist of the show. This is so weird. Okay. Celebrity fun facts based on the internet. Uh... Louise, drink your drink. <laughs> <laughs> this was based on a gallery view that we, we were not able to have today, but uh, we will do this again. Uh, well, Luis, you are the peace master. Going with celebrity facts based on the internet, 
uh, Andreas and uh, uh, Esteban, do you guys want selection one or two? Two. Two. Okay, based on the internet, which celebrity rides a unicycle? Kesha, Anna Ferris, or Lena Mann? You guys can discuss. What was the last one? Sorry. Sorry, Leslie Mann. I said Lena yeah. Mann. Leslie Mann. Who's the second option? Uh, Anna Ferris. Kesha, Anna Ferris, or Leslie Mann? I'm like 99% sure that it's not Kesha. Um, it's either going to be Anna Ferris or Leslie Mann. Go for it. Go with your gut. Let's say uh, I'm going to go with Leslie Mann. Andres, you nope. concur? Yeah, I'm fine with it. Bing! You guys got the point. Oh, oh shit! Wow. Okay, based on the internet, uh, Luis and Carmen, based on the mm -hmm. internet, which celebrity has four nipples? The fuck? Is it going to be Adam Sandler? Is it going to be Corey Feldman? Or is it going to be Harry Styles? It's not Harry Styles. I was going to say Corey Feldman then, right? Well, I saw that yeah. watermelon sugar video. Yeah. yeah. I second that, yeah. Watermelon sugar. Your choice is what? Uh, Corey. Corey Feldman. That's our guess. Based on the internet, the celebrity fun fact, the person that has four nipples is Harry Styles. And if you excuse me, I'm going to the Google Doc so they know what we're going to talk about in the next section. Of All right. So Dave Batista. Nope. I'm just being honest. Dave Batista, Edward Norton, which, to be honest, if you weren't going to choose Edward, I mean, sorry, if you weren't going to choose Woody Harrelson, wouldn't Edward Norton be a fucking bomb ass carnage? No, he's too, big, he's too big an actor. Yeah. To be a second banana. But I why agree. is he he's gonna be the, the big bad of this movie? Why would he be no. a second No? I still I still think that he would be a secondary character uh, compared to Tom Hardy. Not saying that Tom Hardy's a better actor uh, than Edward Norton. I feel that Edward Norton it's not it's not that it's beneath him, but I feel that or at least I think he would think that he wouldn't be able to do justice to Carnage. Plus, I don't think they would get him because you know how he was making such like large requests on Hulk, and yeah. that's ultimately why they took it away from him. And there's also that. But okay, him. I'm. Um, if I, I'm sorry if I butcher the name, Janelle Monet and mm -hmm. Captain Han are joining uh, the cast of Knives Out too. Do you guys feel like he'll be a, a Carmen? Do you feel like Edward Norton would be the same type of a problem? Because you're going against Daniel Craig, and and we'll bring up Dave Bautista about Drax later. But uh, what do you think? Do Do I think Edward Norton would be a problem with this cast for Knives no, no, Out no, no. too? The, issue, the issues that he had with Hulk, like making either making the character different or wanting the character go this way or things like that. Do you think like? Uh, Edward Norton would try to whatever is in store for the character and the way the director sees it. Do you think that Edward Norton would see it in a different way? Like maybe I should play my character like this, as opposed to seeing the big picture of how Daniel Craig goes against fucking Chris Evans. You know what I mean? Uh, spoiler part one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Thank you. Yes, maybe perhaps, but um, I don't, I don't know if I would have a problem. I can't concentrate when I'm trying to focus on something else. So I don't know if I I'm would the last have. One. I get to drink. For people that are not watching, well, obviously we don't have a panoramic view of this. The P sign, Andres was lost. So it's all good. Yeah. Uh, train of thought. Edward Norton. Step on. Oh, bitch. 
<laughs> see, in gallery view, that shit would have been hilarious. Anyway, go on. Um, Trying to see who the director was of the of uh, <laughs> knives, the first Knives Out. Of Knives Out. Oh, that was. Uh, um, yeah, no, I don't think it's gonna be Johnson a problem, Ryan really, Johnson. because. Yeah. I, honestly, like I don't even know what we're talking about now, so <laughs> I, I really lost track of what we were talking about. Edward Norton. Edward Norton and, and, Dorton Dorton. and Dave, yes. they're coming to the to the cast. To the cast of Knives Out Two. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Okay, now I'm back on track. Got it. Um, no, I don't think it's a problem because I think that um, there are a lot of other actors that are and in, maybe not inputting, but definitely added to the cast that add a lot of breath to the characters and to the script. So I just don't think it's going to be as problematic as it was for him before. Um, but I didn't see him as a problematic actor anyway. Um, I'm going to oh, piggyback oh. on what Carmen said. It's a it's an ensemble cast film. Like the strength of that movie is all the actors as one that make make it a strong film. So I'm sure he, him going into it, he knows that and isn't going to be as such a problem where he's like fucking Bruce Banner slash the Hulk. So he's like the main thing. So he was like the mantle of the movie, and that's why so much was on him, and maybe that's why he took it like that. That's what you're well, saying. He's also a Hulk fan, so he that's why he rewrote oh, okay. the script like two or three times. <laughs> but he was being kind of a dick about it from what I, reports have said. I mean, according <laughs> to what the internet says. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Luis, uh, Andres, did you say your piece or, or move on to Luis? Yeah, I, I am excited for it. I really love the first one. And just with the, the cast so far, this sounds like it's going to be really good. So I can't wait. Did you see the first one? Oh, yeah, I loved it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so good. I even, mm, I don't want to spoil it. Uh, Luis. Sir. What did you think of uh, the movie? Knives Out. It's great. I thought it did. Um, it's one of those. Did you start off that sentence with "it's out"? Knives out. No, he said, Knives out. <laughs> I'm out. I'm coming out on this podcast. Uh, <laughs> there are a couple films that I can think of that the trailer only discusses the first 15 to 20 minutes of the film, and so when you go into a movie and you think, "Oh, I know what I'm going to go watch," but then when you're seeing the first 15 slash 20 minutes unfold it's like this is everything that was in the trailer and then there's like a much bigger story like i thought the marketing on that was just so beautifully done to like really make people not know what was going to happen um and yeah so i thought i i like i like the movie i think ryan johnson's a great director and curious to see what happens in the next every everybody in the in that movie it was hard to see now now when you see the outcome of it it was hard to see because everybody was more heartless than the next person. Yeah, everyone was a piece and of shit. It was, and the person that did it wasn't even the most heartless one. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was really hard to see the situation. And then when they reveal who they are and, and it was even more heartless, it was very good. Uh, Esty, what do you think of, uh, what do you think of uh, the trailer? To, no, what do you think of all these people coming to Knives Out too. I'm excited for it. Uh, I am. Pause real quick. Small... Do you know if it? Sorry. Pause real quick before before this. Do you know if it's going to be a different move, like a different situation, and Daniel Craig coming into a different family situation, or is it going to be <laughs> a continuation of part one? Do well, you know? I text Ryan Johnson to kind of get a little bit more info on it. Uh, he hasn't responded back yet, so when I find out, I'll let you know. Uh, There's a lot of Ryan that. Johnsons. Are you sure you got the right one? I did, I did. Yes, yes. Uh, it's the same, <laughs> same Ryan Johnson that uh, directed Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Oh, is that what uh, you did? Because that's probably why they you didn't respond. No, it's the same person. Uh, oh, okay. So, so yeah, I, I'm just waiting for him to reply back to me. All right, uh, well, but it's, he's, he's probably, he, but he probably won't reply back. He probably won't reply back to me because I haven't seen the first Knives Out. So. Oh, then he's not going to respond to you for shit. No, that's probably why he hasn't responded back. Uh, but I mean, it's already. Is that how you started the text? 
Yeah, I was just like, hey man, like I haven't seen I haven't seen Knives Out, the first one. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what the synopsis is for <laughs> Knives Out 2? So he's probably like this country. He's never seen the first one. Um but I am excited for the casting, uh, the the addition of Catherine Hahn. I mean, to see what she did in WandaVision uh, and obviously all of her other accolades prior to this. Uh, I'm just excited to, to see her, uh, to see how she's going to be portrayed on this. Um, based off of the cast that's on there now, it's like when I first saw it was Edward Norton that was cast. I'm like, oh, he's going to be the villain. You know, and then I saw Dave Bautista and I'm like, nah, he's not really so much going to be the villain. Like, I don't think. You know, then I saw Catherine Hahn. I was like, oh, shit, like, you know, like probably it's going to be her, you know, um, but I, I am excited for it. Um, I Knives Out is actually uh, my wife and I were planning on watching it tomorrow night. Uh, you will enjoy so it. We'll, yeah. So so we'll, we'll end up watching it. I, it's already been spoiled for me. So I already know what ends up happening. She hasn't seen it yet, but um, or, or, or she hasn't she doesn't know uh, really the, the uh, synopsis for, for the first one. But you know, yeah. even though that you know what happens, the whole movie, like just getting to the end, is really good. So you'll enjoy it regardless. Oh, right on. Okay, cool. So I mean, and then after, I'll text Ryan Johnson back. Say, hey man, I saw the movie. It was great. Can you respond back to my first text? And is then you... when I get the answer, I'll let you guys know. Can okay. I? Uh, can I have the number so I could ask him about Star Wars stuff? Thanks. Absolutely. You said awesome. you. You've had. You've been Peacemaster for twenty. No, you are the Peacemaster, Esteban. I know. And. Right. You mm, wish the camera was on you because you didn't know. Oh, I did know. Back, Marvin, oh, are you? Didn't know. She uh, said she was going uh, right back. Send us a it would have been probably. Thank you, Ash, for smaller. calling me out. Nobody okay. else knew that I was not here. All right. And see, that's the thing. Thank is you. Like, I knew. I knew she was gone. I wasn't going to call her out on this. When she came yeah. back, I was going to do this. You know, there is a group sure chat that she came that back to see on the side, so you don't destroy people like that on air. Thanks. Yeah, no, but you could take your drink though. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh man, this is so much better in. Gallery view, but uh, I'm still having fun. Thank you, guys. Yes, please continue to to point out that we're not in gallery view. Please <laughs> continue. <laughs> if only you knew. Now knew. Now if if only you knew how great this was. You'll never know because it's not. In <laughs> <laughs> but if only you you'll knew. You'll never know because I have gallery <laughs> nonstop. You motherfucker. <laughs> God damn. This is why we can't have nice things. That's what we're telling you, bitch. Right, so. <laughs> Ash, we're, we're not going to be able to do um, gallery review today, so please don't mention oh. it. What does Ash do? Um, guys, <laughs> I wish you had gallery review. I wish you had gallery review. What I see? Like time, you guys have right? got so much more fun. Um, <laughs> you guys, who got the last point? I know it's two to one because I'm at the third game. Yeah. All right, uh, Esteban and uh, Andreas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, this game is called Name That Song. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. no. Permit, we already, we're already done with accents. Oh, uh, apparently no. not I. Andres, you're the piece uh, of Oh, man. <laughs> I gotta wake up at 4.30 and go to boot camp. We have really three more games. games. <laughs> I made that sound like it's only one more game. We only have I know, right? more games. We're good. All right. So uh, let's do this. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Just because you hold it up, doesn't you. drink. <laughs> I was trying to hydrate. That's what. You, mm, um, no, no. No. Mm -mm. No. Don't even, don't even. I'm going forward. Um, Let's go, Game Master. Come on. And Andres, do you guys want playlist one or two? Uh, Stefan, do you have a opinion? I don't, because either one. way, it's going to be horrible. Let's go one. We're going to go one. He's going to do one. Okay. And we will go 
Okay, uh, so before you go on, uh, explain, is it going to be a singular song? Is it going to be multiple songs that we got to name? What's going on? I was just picking the playlist first, but you got, you're got you absolutely right. All right, so this next game is going to be called Name That Song. You guys are going to get only five seconds, and the reason you're only getting five seconds, which you would get anyway, is these songs are based on the playlist that our awesome Andreas, which I'm really proud of him for, has uh, created this playlist that we've all get to pick one song a week. This playlist, these two playlists are based on the playlist all together that we have chosen. Uh, once a week, we add a song to these playlists and that playlist is called uh, Comics Podcast Songs We Are Listening To. Don't quote me. I feel like it's not that, but it's what we're listening to. I think it's called. That's, um, that's a very clever game. So this it. game is based on songs we have each chosen. Mm-hmm. I don't know who chose what, so if it's all Andreas's picks, it's not my fault. I don't know who picked what. However, these songs are based on that. Everybody get it? You guys are only going to get five seconds of the song. You guys pick playlist one or two? I feel like it's one. One. Okay. One, okay. Oh, no, not me. Chilling, forgot. All right. I should do it. Let me do a sound test real quick because I don't. As you're doing the sound test, I would like to go ahead and wish Harvey Keitel a happy 82nd birthday. Happy birthday to Harvey Keitel. Happy birthday. Nope. Okay. That's not on the playlist. <laughs> it's not. But I want to do a check. How do you? I don't want anybody bitching about how they can't hear the song. I, we can hear it, but it looks funny because you had yeah, it was perfect because you got the, your phone up and you're just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gonna shit on me. Everybody can hear it, right? Yeah. Yes. I was actually enjoying it. You're still gonna get shit on. <laughs> I told you, I'm the cup. All right. Playlist one is what you chose. Yes. All right, here we go. Five seconds to identify each song. How many songs is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is do you want the name and the artist, or just the artist, the name of the song? Uh. All right. I would have want the name and the artist, but to make it fair, are you guys down to just do the song, or do you guys want the name and the artist? No, no I think just, just go with the song. I just would say song. just go with the song only because we only have five seconds. Sorry, Luis. You master is Sorry, Luis. Luis. Everybody ready? Yeah. Got yeah. it. So you get. Are you going to go one by one or do you want to name the song one? I'm sorry. Do you want to name the song one by one? Or are you going to wait till the end? We should go b- one by one. because One by one. Yeah. 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 one by one. I know whose song that was, but I don't remember the name or the name of the artist. Okay. I will only accept the name of the song. So that's what we've all chosen. So here we go. That was Louis's song. Song yeah, number two. I know two. for a fact, yeah. Song number two. Oh, I know. Uh, that's the Walkman. Thinking of a dream I had. Yeah, that's one. That's Carmen's uh, Crystal Castle's Prime Wave. Yeah, you guys got two points. That's Carmen's uh, Carmen's. All Along the Watchtower. Okay. Last song. That's Carmen's uh em do uh fuck I'm not gonna get the name of the song. Don't look it up, don't look it up. Hey, look at chilling. Hey, Stefan. <laughs> I'm reading I'm reading a text message from my wife right now. Chill out. Right. Telling him to be quiet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're at three points. Same. Done? Three uh, points. Honestly, honestly, I want the first one. I know the first one was Luis's. I know that for a fact. Okay. Um, I want to say, and I know it's fucking wrong, but I don't know why this bad. Two to four is right done. Now. Two huh? to four is done. All you need is five or one. No, I know the, the first. The, 
The very first one was Luis's. I know for a fact because I saw his reaction. Do M do. Do M do. I'm done. Okay. I was gonna say I was gonna say System of a Down, but um, uh-uh. no, it's not it. So. Mm-hmm. All right, we're at three. three. Yeah. All right. That wasn't me. All right, so. Next team. You guys, uh, Luis and Carmen, you guys get playlist two. Here we are. These are all based on, this is basically for our guests. These are all based on the playlist uh, that has been generated by comics. Again, due to Andres's uh, fucking genius of us, we all, there's. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the delayed reaction. Yeah, great. You know what's weird is I'm looking at nine different things and I still have not gotten it. Nope, nope. That's the virus. Still you. Uh, she left. <laughs> she quit. Never mind. I take it back. She left. Because <laughs> she wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Last one is still on this. We'll wait for her to come back. Uh, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, oh, no, no, no. Continue three. with the continue. No, continue with the with the playlist that Andres geniusly is curating every Wednesday. Yes, when, when we're throwing stuff no. out. So yes, it is. But uh, Luis partner. here. That's why I can't. Uh, but no, I each of us each of us have something. I have unboxed. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Luis has a uh, fucking comics place. Uh, Andres has the the playlist that we've created, which uh, again is fucking amazing because we each all have different music selection and music uh, tastes that like, mm-hmm. to be, uh, to be honest, there are things in the playlist that I've been like, Oh fuck. I Prime wave. I love that shit. And I didn't even know that that existed. Uh, right. If it wasn't for Esteban, I wouldn't know about Coheed Cambria or the sweater that he lost the same day of a show because he got fucked up. But I wouldn't I have so known about up. it. was so good. I was so, I was so was fucked so up. Uh, and that's not even the day we talk about. We always talk about only your birthday, but that day was a good day. No, we, that, that we day, we were, we were in downtown long. LA. We were in downtown LA. And I remember that. I remember I remember bits and pieces that night uh, because that's how fucked up I got. Um, so we ended up going to downtown LA. Yeah, not even to cut you off, but okay, so it was your friend, and then we got taken up to the front, but who's the homie that had to stay in the back? Was it Pablo? I know, no, it was Andy. It was Andy. It was Andy, (laughs) and I felt bad. Because we got to go all the way up in the front, it it was Yeah, okay, so, okay, so, okay, so let me paint this picture real quick before we continue. Um... So uh, Ash and I we, and Andy, we all got tickets to go see Cody in Cambria. It was at uh, Nokia Live, uh, but it wasn't like at the, it was like underneath, uh, I forget, you know, like the, the smaller area down in Nokia Live. or B or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we were there, we were playing. I ran to one of my really good friends from college uh, and he was able to score like the front end tickets. So we were there and that was the night that Ash and I, we were both single at the time. Do you remember that? We were both single at the time, and we were we were buying drinks. Like it was, I was buying him a drink. Oh, those chicks! Drink. Oh my god! There oh, were there were two god. girls. Yeah. There were two girls that were there, and and they were looking at Ash, but they were looking at Ash from behind. You know, like kind of checking him out. Like, and then I can see that they were talking about <laughs> himself and and me. And I go, I looked at him, and I'm like, "You want to do? Do you, you want to go uh, accents?" And he goes, "Yeah, let's do accents." And I'm like, "Okay, cool." So we, we decided we did accents. We were fucking stupid. I know, we, were, we were fucking stupid. Like, we didn't care. So we, we are, are, yes. Both. Guilty. Um, so we decided to go with Australian accents. And we did the Australian accents. We were talking to these chicks, like, straight on Australian. They're like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I guarantee you that if we would have continued, one of us would have probably gone home with one of them. I guarantee. I guarantee you because they were they – were, very inebriated and so were we and you know it would have been fun um but then when i ran into my friend we completely ditched those chicks and we went to the front of the of the the show we were like right like right in front of the band 
I have, poor Andy. I have I have wristbands to go up to the front, but yeah, uh, I only have two, and uh, he gave, he gave yeah, me like, one. I'm gonna go for sure, and I was like, yeah. Uh. <laughs> so so the karma for that because at least my karma for that was because I talked Ash into giving me the other bracelet or the other the other uh, thing. So I ended up paying for a uh, Kobe and Canberra hoodie. It was a sixty-five dollar hoodie. Okay. Uh, and yeah, sixty-five dollar hoodie. Bought it at the, the show. show. So trash. We went to go get tacos so that we could sober up a little bit. I left the fucking sweater that I had just bought, like on the, and I was eating tacos and I left it. Fucking just left it. I guarantee you, right now there is someone that I that is warm with that Chloe and Cambria sweater in downtown LA. Mm-hmm. Dustin. My sister had a similar story. She bought a expensive. Oh, I thought you were gonna be like, my sister came home with the COVID and camera. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> but they didn't know where she came from. She like, wasn't intoxicated. My sister was but... talking to some guys that had an Australian accent. <laughs> <laughs> we went to go see Lincoln Park, and she bought uh, she bought a shirt, and she was so excited. And on our walk out, we were fucking starving. It wasn't me. It's yeah, you. I'm pretty first. sure it was, oh. buddy. Like, fuck off. I did it right when you did it. <laughs> oh, it wasn't me. Now he does that. <laughs> but now he I was, want to be a stripper now. Boy, me. Yeah, it was you. Fuck uh, off. I have to go fuck open off. another beer? No, it yeah. wasn't. No. Sorry. <laughs> fuck off. Right, it wasn't fuck me. You guys ain't going to forget this. I'll be back. <laughs> None of this is us. Yeah, don't None forget it. Us. Don't forget it. You only had to take um, two drinks and then Carmen, stop poking the bear, beer. Carmen. That's your mm-hmm. ass. Stop poking the bear, Carmen. I still oh, have to pay for what I did. Today. Right? Hey, Luis. Before okay, so the first uh uh the first what, what do we want to say? No, no, no. I want him to finish the his first, I want him to finish the Linkin Park story. Finish the first Linkin Park kick. story. Wait, which Linkin Park concert? The last uh, one the or? first kick. I'm hosting. The first kick. Oh, all of a sudden he decides to throw out. I'm the hosting. Listen kick. to me. Listen to me. I'm hosting. Excuse, oh. excuse oh. me. Nobody interrupt me. I'm hosting. <laughs> I like how Carmen did the Vogue like while she was mimicking <laughs> Ash. She's all, excuse me. I'm hosting. <laughs> like I don't think Ash. <laughs> you, know. you know what's funny is she doesn't want to do accents, but all of a sudden she wants to fucking go world star. Like, excuse me. Like, no, you gotta calm down. Hello. There we go. Regarding uh, regarding Lincoln all, Park. No. It was no, two no. albums ago. It was uh, the Hunting Party album. For sure. So it was before oh, okay. this one. Okay. And uh, uh, sure enough. Uh, oh, that was Louise. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you so much, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so much aggression. Yeah. You don't show up. Um, I'm tired. But the end, of the, the end of the story is just like we're leaving the concert and all the food places were closed. And there was those like street vendors that had hot dogs. And so me and my yeah. sister got mm-hmm. so excited. And so we stopped by to get some hot dogs. And she leaves her it. shirt on a fucking uh, like a light post. And no. so we start walking away, eating our hot dogs all excited. And then we realize like, oh, my merch. And so we walk back and within a gone. minute, it was gone. Within a minute. Yeah. Like, yeah. But of anyway. That's the end of my story. Uh, so, ready for there the next part of people waiting for you to just get up and move. Same yeah. with him. We yeah. were all, I'm sure, uh, not being a dick, but uh, the people weren't saying the numbers in English. So, whenever we, me and Andy had our numbers. So, when the numbers were being said, you know, and uh, Seven would be like, uh, that's you. So the most drunk one out of the three, I'm right. like, uh, that's you, bro. Go. That's you. That's You're you. trying to focus on that, right. probably. Yeah. And then now I have tacos in my hand. He was the last one. Of course he left his fucking sweater there because he was sitting on it. Could tell you fucking day one. He got up from it and we're all eating tacos. <laughs> but we didn't even go back for that shit. That shit was gone. Yeah, dude. I didn't realize it until the next morning. Yep. Yeah. All right. So it's all good. It's all good. Somebody's worn. Yeah, somebody's worn. That's the way I see it. Somebody's worn. Somebody got a sweater out of it. Or it's in, like... Or, or it's, it's it like in a doghouse. <laughs> no, or, or that. Fuck it. Whatever, man. The dollar store and somebody's, again, warm. 
Again. 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 All right, who had, who had the last points? Because we're at the last two games. I, I uh, have we, did, we didn't do our round of uh, music Wait, shit. But, yeah. Yeah, you haven't done their, their oh, round. Oh, 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 prison rules. That's right. Somebody went to the bathroom <laughs> and they got into a whole thing and then don't call me out. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. It, it went to a whole thing. <laughs> prison rules. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's so sad because when I host, I want to have fun. Ah, that's Carmen. Carmen. That's Carmen. No, that was Carmen. No, 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 that was Carmen. It absolutely no. was. That was you, Carmen. It absolutely no, was not. That was Andres. What the Carmen. fuck? He held it up. That was, was you, the second Carmen. one. Uh, Carmen, fine. That was you. fine. Look, fine. Fine. No, fine. No, 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 no. Cheers. No. Cheers to you. I'll take the drink. Yeah. Well, I'm all uh, right. Okay, don't down it, Stone Cold. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> still you, bitch! <laughs> Why am I hosting this? I have not gotten it once. Oh, that's fucking amazing. All right. Hey, Luis, you. how's the coffee and uh, beer going? Uh, yeah, he's going to be all fucking, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> hi, hi. I have, a little bit, I have a little bit left. Yeah, you do. All right. You guys ready? <sighs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Team two. Have five seconds with each song. You guys rather do one by one, right? Because yeah. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. That's five seconds. Okay. Move on. Just say pass. Carmen. Pass. Okay. I must say I, that's my probably my favorite I, song on our. Playlist. I know whose song that is, but I don't know the name of the song. You, okay, you talked through it, so I will give you another chance. Here we go. <laughs> Five seconds. Anybody? Yeah, but I'm not going. I know. I know. All right. Five seconds. Here's song three. One is system of a down metro. Okay, mm-hmm. song four. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. I I guess I know who actually listens to the playlist that we put out and who doesn't. <laughs> okay, first of all, I listen to the songs, but the titles I will yeah, never I don't look know. At the titles, it just yeah. Plays. Again, we've already chosen. Again, you either say. You could either say the name of the band or the name of the t- like the name of the song. We've already discussed that, so we didn't say the name of the band. We just said the name of the song. Okay. Well, no. Okay. Yes. Here we go. I'm the host. <laughs> it wasn't on you, Esteban. Otherwise, it would have caught that. All right. Here we go. Again, mention the gallery view, please. Continue. I'm going to. Yep, now it was on you. I'm sorry, I talked through it. Here we go. Ready? Song three. Your song, Cocksucker Go. I know, I'm listening it to this great song. Uh, still waiting. Okay, that's two points. Okay, hold yeah. on, pause. Yeah. How relevant is that song today? Huh? Uh, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I can see Luis like elbowing someone. Huh? 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 Hey, uh, fun fact: He released an acoustic version of it, and it's a lot more depressing, and it's fucking great. Please fun fact: it. You're the peace master. I I am peace master. Yeah. Why are you rushing the peace master shit? Chill out, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's three. You could tie it up, or you're fucked. Under Saturn Shadow by Tiger Army. But that's not my song. Uh, it's not my turn to go. Oh, well, thank you so much. Sorry. It's not thank like you, you were going to get it. Love that. So, that's true. That's true. On. I knew it was right. Tiger Army, but I didn't know what song it was. <laughs> <laughs> just exactly. It. Again, what would have been acceptable <laughs> to fucking mouth would have been like that band is, and then that would have been acceptable. Oh, it wouldn't have. That wasn't part of the rules. It, the yeah. Have. It Again, wasn't. It wasn't. Those fucking accents. If you're to not the other team, why would they? No one wouldn't have. 
All right, mm. so three to two. So is, we're at SD and Andreas. You guys still have a chance to come back. Don't call it. Uh... <laughs> God damn it! It's always him. <laughs> Never ha- don't don't. I wasn't ever... looking at the screen. Fuck that's off. New. Yeah, that's. I think that's why they choose it. I feel like I feel like I don't. It's still <laughs> you. Ah, yeah, dick. Oh my god, this is fucking fun. Okay, Stone Colding it. All right. <laughs> we only have we only have two more games, so we're we're almost done. Um <laughs> fucking midnight, dude. <laughs> no, it's only fucking 1045. No, 1050. We're good. 1050. Hey, you're breaking the fourth wall and and telling the crowd <laughs> our, our fans when we fucking record. We've done that. If you listen to our or oh, watched our show, we've done that a lot. So Margot Robbie yes. wants to be Poison Ivy in the DCU, which I, I feel like she's established herself as fucking the perfect. Uh, and she's almost like a cornerstone to everything we want. She's such a good um, uh, Harley Quinn that like we can kind of get, we can accept, like if, if Margot Robbie shows up in a Michael Keaton Batman, I don't feel like anybody will shit on that. Especially with the the he's really going to sleep. Um, <laughs> especially with anything that we want to do in the future. I agree. Yep. All right. You are right. Moving on. Yep. Moving on. All right. So, uh, Margie <laughs> Robbie wants to be Poison Ivy. We Pardon. all want Poison Ivy in the universe. That is not anything yes. bad. And she. It, I think her star is diminished from Birds of Prey, even though I actually like that movie. Um, I didn't like I the just, I didn't like I, the little girl. I liked everything she was trying to do, and I feel like she tried to make she tried to bring this person up, and it was not it was wasn't working. I just thought yeah. it worked. Like I I, under, I understand what you're saying, uh, but I don't feel that way. I like the movie. I don't know if people had problems with it because it was like fucking girl power and like fucking. No, no, no. See, too, I'm, not, I'm not saying us, uh, but right. I think specifically that was but the issue with like fucking douchebag uh, fans. Interview the the fucking. I can't think of her fucking name. Margot Robbie. Interview, no, interview with vampire. Uh, Kirsten Dunst. Dunst. Dunst was a fucking amazing child actor. And this child actor, not so much. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think she was bad. I don't think it detracted. Well, that's in my personal opinion. Like, it didn't detract anything from me. But I, I, I guess I could understand. Like, I, I honestly like that movie a lot. I saw it in the theaters. Uh, it was enjoyable to me. Um, I like you and McGregor's black. Yes, we know <laughs> that he's the key master. Don't need to keep telling us. Uh. So, like, there was nothing bad in that movie, and I feel like um, there she's on a down note right now. Yeah. So I think after Suicide Squad comes out, and I'm sure it's going to do well, especially since it's game James Gunn's movie, and it's going to put her back on top where she'll be yeah. like, yeah, fucking DC's uh, uh like Can for Wonder Woman's team? day to to fucking she's going to be the B uh, as like the female character. I feel bad because I know she uh, she was very much financially tied to Birds of Prey, and the pandemic happened around the time that it was releasing out in theaters, and so there was a lot of speculation of could it have been a bigger hit had it not been around. Like it was foreshadowed by not foreshadowed, it was uh, overshadowed, overshadowed mm-hmm. by the pandemic that was happening in the world. Because uh, first it was Sonic the Hedgehog that came out, which did really well in the box office. And if I remember correctly, Birds of Prey came out the week after, but that's when the pandemic yes. hit. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. then that's when things were starting to like, it was at least in the realm of like, of possibility of like, hey, maybe we should start doing shit like before things started getting regulated. And so it, it halted ticket sales. And I remember reading about that, that, uh, uh, Margot Robbie was very concerned because, you know, she was a producer, executive producer. Like she was very involved with this film, and she did a lot of her own stunts. Like she put her heart and soul in this thing. So it's like, God, that's fucking sucks. Life. 
Back to you, Ash. No, I agree. Like it, it does suck in that the but but the the studio is a different thing as opposed to so who was it? It's Carmen. Carmen. Again, it's Carmen. It's a different thing because it's a huge bet. Like you're 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 willing to do everything off of Suicide Squad one, which people wrote off. So you're willing to do everything on this into Suicide Squad two. Like you, uh, it's a it's just bad timing because that movie is not horrible. It's not. not you know it's popcorn movie. It's it's I liked it. I'll buy I, it. I had I'm, hoped that Venom was what Suicide Squad was, which was just a fun time, which it wasn't but, good storytelling let's necessarily, put it this way. but it was fun. Louise, let's put it this way. There's movies that you'll buy at $28.99, and there's movies that you'll buy at $10.99, $5.99, like whatever it is. Like It's not going to not be in your collection, but you're not going to spend that amount of money. You know what I mean? Okay. So uh, game number four. I love that. Who has the last point? We did. They do. They're two points ahead of Carmen, us. You're the peace master. I just want you to remember that. <laughs> you remember. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah. I did have to again look at the camera because I was like, as I'm talking shit, I'm like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm still. Yeah, yeah, all, right, all right. This this game is called TV themes. All right, who has the last one? Damn it. You said uh, Esteban uh, Andres has it? Yes, sir. All right. (laughs) All right, so I'm bringing up the Megatron thing that we talked about earlier. (laughs) (laughs) That was the one time I see. The one time. One time. I'm doing accents. I'm doing accents now. All right, I will take. But that also means that I do have the peace message. Okay, first of all, can you tell me your white claw, please? He is drinking white claw. I, he is. is this I am not a white claw person. No, no, I am not a white claw person. Mm-hmm. That's the second Why time we've seen him drink it. Here's no. Yes. Somebody came over that is a white claw person, and it gets fucked up on two and left a twenty four pack. 18 pack. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll. Here we go. So, playlist one or two? Where are you at? We're doing this again? Yeah, it's TV themes. This game is called TV theme songs. The way this game works, I fucking love you guys. The, the way this game works is I'm gonna give you five seconds of a TV theme song, and you guys have to guess within. Mm, 10 seconds of each song. Ready? Team who? Who who is going? You're going. going. I hate this game. Yeah. Yeah, you. Okay. Here you go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go. No, okay, who's going I'll first? Wait for you to drink, so because we got to play this game. All right, well, don't show me the drink, just drink. <laughs> okay, drink the drink. You have to kill it. <laughs> no. God damn, girl. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna have a repeat of the Hunt Hayride. Yeah, well, if we throw <gasps> throw one, uh, Luis. All right. Wait, so. wait, hold on. Did you guys read my friends? That's what oh, I thought yes. was coming up this week. Oh, oh yeah. Was coming up this week. But somebody's in charge of the comments, which I wait, 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 what? I no. don't know this. I didn't see it. Somebody you didn't read. Oh. read oh. oh, you didn't read the comments. It's the, it's, Let's it's do the it. other part of my story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. the hayride. Yeah. All it's right. My so. friend, my friend posted it. Oh, we are. Yes, it's she exposed me. Fourth wall. <laughs> even 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 Diana, she she read it and she goes, she replied to Carmen. She goes, Oh girl. 
<laughs> I, I saw Diana's response and Carmen's response. Yeah, I saw that. Back and forth, but I didn't see uh, it's a, a whole response. essay. It's a whole Bro. essay about Here we go. Ooh. All right, so Carmen, are we expecting to have her on the show next week? Anna V.I. Yeah, here we go, here we go. The next day, I vented to a couple people my experience, and each time the person had trouble containing their laugh. Carmen and I made up about a week after that. Uh, it took a whole you have to week. start. With, you have to start the other one. The other one. It's the first one. Hi everyone. So I was the friend in the story, and I'd like to share my side. Mm -hmm. Carmen mm -hmm. had consumed mm -hmm. a fair amount of alcohol in my apartment that night, and I was worried it would end badly. So I kept her on my radar all night. Flat fuck you both. <laughs> Flash forward to the front of the line ride. I noticed Carmen visibly drunk and looked like a pinball while walking through the line, but she was still responsive, so I thought she was sober by the time we left. While on the ride, she was extremely calm, as all to the cast members that kept jumping to us. I was too scared and distracted to notice <coughs> or pay attention to her. Later, while we waited for the Uber, I checked in with her and she appeared to be as drunk as when we arrived. It concerned me and the rest of the group because we knew that that meant she couldn't drive herself home and I had to work early the next morning so she would need to crash at my place. I was too tired to figure out the arrangements at the time until the Uber finally arrived and, and the order in which we sat was one of my friend in the front seat, Carmen and my sister in the middle, and me in the back with another one of our our friends, the one who paid for the Uber. It was about a 20 minute drive. Most of us were tired. I eventually started to fall asleep and that's when Carmen opened the window. The cool breeze sent <laughs> in a wave of instant relaxation. Cool I was practically knocked out. Suddenly, I feel a heavy splash all yeah, over my face. Oh, I open yeah, my did. eyes, but I can't see anything. I'm wearing my glasses. <laughs> At the same moment, I hear my sister my sister calmly say, ew, because she had gotten a little splash on the top of her lip. And my friend who sat in the back got hit with a small mist. Our friend in the front seat back quietly laughed like a little kid. Oh, shit. That sucks. That's too funny. Kind of like <clears throat> under his breath. The Uber driver was just dead silent and motionless. Oh, it was a. I didn't I even realize Uber. I'm sorry. I realized almost instantly what had happened, and I tried not to panic or breathe because it was everywhere. It was yeah, on my long curly hair, my sweater, oh. my face, inside my nose somehow, oh. just <laughs> everywhere. I was in full rage inside, but I knew that I couldn't react. She also did a terrible job of aiming out the window because it was all over the door inside. When we got off the car, we uh -huh. went up to the apartment and I gave Carmen a shirt and towel so she can clean up. <laughs> and I went to wash my face. She had not said a word because I had chunks all over my lips. Oh. Our other friends were scrambling, trying to figure out how to get her home, including the car, which they knew it was not safe leaving her place at my place after what yeah. she was done. She changed. She was so mad. She changed and everyone else got home safely. And then the last comment that she had said was the next day I vented to a couple of people experiencing and each time the person uh, had trouble containing the laugh. Carmen and I made up about a week after that was done. One of the most uncomfortable experiences in life became one of the best stories to share that has topped so many. Carmen, you're a true gem, and never again will I feel safe sitting behind in a car after you. <laughs> that's a that's an adorable story. I love that, Anna. <laughs> you're amazing. Thank you so much for commenting that, Luis. We're, we're gonna edit that and we're gonna post this response. Oh God, please! Oh please. my God, Luis! Oh, God. Just fucking when I said your name, that was like, remember how I said make it a show? That's exactly. Then we show that, Savvy? Yes, thank you. Okay, so you guys oh. ready for game four? So we can fucking yeah. No, well, I mean, uh, let me. I pause. Uh, keep talking. I need to get a. I'm, a, I'm all out of drink. Yeah. Find your balls. Oh. Oh, it's not funny if he's not there. Hey, Carmen. Okay, hey, are, you, are, you gonna have, are you gonna have her on the show next week as your guest? No, I could never. 
It's Devon. You're all losing your Superman status. Are you okay? I'm good, dude. Yeah, you are. Look, because dude. I had this. Look it. Look it. No. Did this come? I no. Quiet. Shut I up. want it when Shut I host. Up. Shut up. Uh, Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. this cup? No. About this much of whiskey. Yeah. Okay. I and remember. Then... Uh-huh. Shut up, asshole. Okay, and then this, is the only beer. this is the only, this is the only beer that was in the fridge. Make love you. ultra. It's the only beer that was in the fridge. That's what you should have been fucking nursing the whole time. Well, this is my second one. So. <laughs> you you no motherfucker, you just showed one for 27 minutes and then brought out this is my second one. No, no, I'm not gonna feel bad anymore because you made me feel bad. No, I'm only drinking whiskey, and then you brought out oh, this is my second one. I don't know who I forgot who the peace master is. Okay, so doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Mimo, it's Luis. Mimo, fuck it's up. Luis. Right. Who, who's a Highlander? Uh, I am. So okay. we're, we're down to two games, but well, there can one. only be one. Uh... Yeah. Ding. So uh, we're down to two last games and one last category, which is Green Knight. Before there was two uh, last so games, two games there, there, right? right? No. What's going on, bro? It's it's get. We're on game four right now. I know, but I'm talking about we only have one category left, so I'm going to go to game four because I have one category left. You okay? You want to talk about yeah, it? I know. I know. You showed up late, so what happens is we're going to go late. Oh, fine. What's going to happen? Okay, well, mention, the, mention that we're worries. not in gallery mode, bitch. Mention, <laughs> mention, we're mention. Also, <laughs> Hey, we're also not in gallery mode, or else you guys Honor. would know everybody. <laughs> you just told me to say it. You know what would be funny is that if we go back to this recording and it actually is in gallery mode. <laughs> God damn, you're like right here with me, Esteban. All right. Hey, who has the... Ah, you do, buddy. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? Is there a fair this bitch is drinking White Claw? That shit's like 4.4% alcohol. Suck yep. my dick. No, I'm doing a shot. I'm doing a shot. Oh, I'm doing a shot. Of what? Hey, guys. 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 Hey, Usually it's me. Uh, no, very not easy. not even when we tell you that we have to wake up early. Ash is like, really it's our own time. It's one a.m. One is Thunderdome. Yeah, not not all of us work from home, buddy. We can just chill, wake up. Here's chill. the thing with me. I absolutely Did you see that, me. Luis. You saw that. You saw that. Here's the thing with me. Here's the thing with me is I I don't give a fuck. I love really? no. I love every one of you guys. If I blow up your phone, it's that I'm thinking of you. Oh, I <laughs> fucking Esteban's phone fucking 24-7. If I blow up your phone, it's ca- even if it's a random fucking... Chicken and it's funny. Or a fucking a comedy thing, which Carmen's getting that. Like, I, I, you guys are my life. I just don't want to fucking bug you guys because... I, I'm just extending. Fucking <laughs> asshole. Good. I'm extending my shit because I don't ever want to be. That's my way of reaching out. So fuck you. That got real. Fucking real quick. Hey, so TV theme song. Who All right. Song? We did. Who the last point. We did. Who did? Seven. Take your drink. All right. So. There was nothing in there. I call bullshit. Yeah, fucking. Mm. You, there's, there's nothing one, in, in your Michelob yeah. Ultra fucking 2% alcohol uh, drink. No, that one was. It was backwash, but there was. All right. Easy, easy. All right, so. Who has the last point? So I can say these we're last. Good. They do. Right. They've All been right. the only ones getting points, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you. Do you want Brittany? Or, Brittany, or do you okay, want Rob Zombie? 
It's Britney, bitch. Britney. No. There it is. Fuck you. No. It's no. Britney. Oh, fuck you. Here we go. No. 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 It fuck got said. you. It got said. <laughs> Mom and dad are fighting again. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Wine, wine, that, drunk. Carmen the, is very Luis, aggressive. I don't know why the two different teams said things, but what team is has the points? Uh, uh, Andres. Andres. So Brittany okay, so is Andres. You want Brittany, Carmen? No, uh, Andres or, or yes, I want Brittany, said. but I cannot have Brittany because Andres already every, called every Brittany. every nerd out there. Just. I, I'll have Rob you better work, bitch. You better work, bitch. I'll, I'll have Rob Zombie. She could have. All right. So you guys choose Rob Zombie. Finish. Yeah. The game is called Finish the Line. And I'm going to say the line. And then you have to. <laughs> this is how you're drunk. It's not me. It's not me. It's you. Pay attention to the fucking show that you're on. I do appreciate that fucking Carmen takes the drink with you. <laughs> he gets all fucking like he's going to get into a fight in 1980. Not going to get into a fight. Calm your shit. Rob Zombie. <coughs> Andreas and Esteban. Here's your line. Dead I am the one exterminating son. Seriously? Wait, time out. Hold up. Didn't you say these were TV theme songs? <laughs> yeah, you no, did. No, I no, did. No. I did. No. 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 That was Rob Zombie and Britney Spears. I TV, even know. TV theme songs. Okay, one, here's how I fucked up. I named two different fucking things. No, no. Here's how I fucked up. I named song, like, uh, Game 5. And now it's game four, which I fucked up completely. But I did say finish the line, and you guys chose. Wait, I'm no, fucking. It's him, fucker. Not you. It's who? Me. It's Luis. All right. Well, yeah. Don't cry. And he's the drunk one. No, he's the drunk one. All right. So. But I did explain. I, okay, here uh, I accept no, no. complete responsibility. No, I am no. I'm apolog. No, I'm apologizing and saying this. But I did explain that. Ash. Gonna, it was uh, Ash. It was Ash. Ash. I'll accept. I'll accept. No, Where's take your, your fucking off, shot. Take your I shot did. of white cloth. I fucking did. Take I did shot take my shot. Off. <laughs> but I never had the fucking. Mm, Okay. That was a test. Did you put it up? What the fuck? Uh, <sighs> okay, so. We're playing games with my heart. Game four. No, I was in that music video. That was my first synthesis. It was a lobster. That was Amanda show. So, game four is finish the line. And I fucked it up, but finish the line. And that you guys chose... Uh, Rob Zombie, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, so, and again, I got to say, I got to yeah. say that I am the one exterminating son. The next line is flipping through, through the trees. trees. Somebody's Perfect. right. Somebody's right. Slipping through the trees. Slipping through the trees. But I said two lines, so it should be slipping through the trees. Did I am the sky? Mm -hmm. No, because that rhymes or why? I don't know, man. It I rhymes with what's popping in my head. Bit. Uh, uh, Andres, how, how are you? How are you getting so angry at me when you first told us that Game Four oh, was fucking TV theme songs? How? How? It's gonna. It's never. It's. It's never. It's never not gonna be a fucking situation. It will never. Every time I host it, it will never not be a situation. So that I am the one exterminating sun, slipping through the, the trees, trees, strangling the breeze. Don't don't help them. All right. So oh, no, we're done. We already lost it. We already lost it. It's cool. 
Spirit, I am the sky watching angel sky. Don't yeah, that would impress me if you weren't. First of all, okay, I'm sorry. All right, so you have Brittany. It's Brittany, bitch. It's Brittany. If I bitch. see er, either one of you look at your phone, you're out. Ready? Mm-hmm. Why is he so angry? Because I'm hosting. The springs out. The rails are off when I'm not hosting, as you guys know. Clearly, mm-hmm. but now he's hey, getting baby. Up. The rails are on or something. <laughs> I, I'm writing that I'm going to the restroom. Fuck off. I'm not doing no, this. Nope. You were there for 27 minutes. There's no way. You were not going to the bathroom. I <laughs> just <laughs> sent a message to the group. You were looking at us going, right. going up too. Fuck That's you, what go was happening. <laughs> He's going to hate us in the morning. And the rest of tomorrow, sure. his four, his I'm four gonna his last tomorrow is going to be like. Pick. Pretty sure he hates us now, man. <laughs> but none of that is a, like, if it's you're going to drink on top of what you're going to do, that's not my fault. That's not my fault. It's hey, can I ask you guys a question? What's up? No. How fucking awesome would it be? It wouldn't. If, if, if Sam. If it was one season of Sam and the Winter Soldier as both Captain America, and then something happened within that season where, like, Winter Soldier was like, oh, it's not me. But there was a a bunch of different scenes where it was just like, boom, 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 boom. And then, like, me, me, not me, but Sam and, and, and them just combo rific, like, Fighting, 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 and then throwing the fucking shield, and then him, and then throwing the shield, and then me, and then you know what I mean? Like, fucking would have been a fucking amazing. Oh no, people are leaving. You just noticed? All right. Wow. No, people are talking. No, no, nobody's talking. No, we're on a different view. We I don't know what to do. are. I don't know what to do right now because it it got all right. I feel like, ooh, what? 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 I don't know. I got okay. Ash, tell us. Tell. No, it us. just. I, no, I no, like wait, that. wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish my question. Tell us who you would like to be Omni Man. Zach Ham? Uh, or. Who's Zach Ham? You mean, you mean John Ham? Oh, yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Why are you That's- getting. You said Zach. No, I know, but that oh. literally just shows people where I'm at in this chat or where I'm at in this podcast. That's hilarious. Luis and Andres came back at the same time. Luis, why do you have it white is. stuff on your cheek right here? I don't, I don't finish that fast. He's like, I was brushing my teeth. What's I don't finish that fast. Ask around. Oh, you flirt, sir. Hello. Oh. I am getting used to everything that is happening. And, and it only took you 32 episodes. That's cool. Let's get on with Britain, bitch. That was an awkward silence. Keep going. Okay, so uh, work a bitch. Let's go. Brittany. It's Brittany, bitch. Let's Brittany, go. bitch. Is mm-hmm. the homie here? Is Luis here? Yes. I don't think yeah, he is. he's here. He's here. What? Uh, am I the page master now, Luis. or whatever the fuck? Luis, yeah, you're the page master. All right, Louis, say something. Saying something. Thank you. Be back. It's not me. Be back. Like, motherfucker, I'm not fucking. I'm not. Mm. I have no idea why he's so angry. What did I do? I'm very sorry. I have very to sorry. Pee. You didn't give Andres shit? Can somebody please confirm who is the peace master? <laughs> That's Andres. It's me. I just finished saying Got I'm it. the peace master. Oh. But oh. Oh. here's what's throwing okay. me off. Here's what, yeah, now, because now you fucked me up. Because now we, I'm, I don't have the fucking view. It's you know. Okay. 
Perfect. Yeah, because it's because it's, 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 it's our fault. Yeah. 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 The gallery view that I was promised, and that's what yeah. they. Oh said. yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. But you know what? But you know what's funny? Mother you know what's funny? They, oh, you. Mother. You know what's funny is that you could actually set up your view on your Zoom under gallery view. It's true. That's what I do. Ash. Ash. It wasn't me. There and was. I feel like you still made it me because you know I don't have that view. I, I'll, I'll do it. What? Oh, that's why you never oh. believe us. Because you don't have gallery. I always look at gallery. Me too. All right, that's that's a personal problem, Ash. I'm sorry. It's because Grandpa doesn't know how to switch it from uh, active speaker <laughs> to gallery. <laughs> 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 For sure, Doc. What you should do is the joke you made like an hour ago and for sure do. Uh, TV theme song. <laughs> no, no funny, though. I thought we were on Britney, bitch. I thought we were on Britney, fucker. Hey, I, I was there. I, I own shit. And still. <laughs> I have it. Just take a shot for yourself. I think you need one. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Shot of White Claw. Mm-hmm. Carmen. <laughs> I love how Carmen was so like, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. Ash. I know she. Yeah, yeah she please, had, please she, take the shot, and then I'm like, oh fuck, there is a peace sign up. Got it. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ash. Mm-hmm. No, okay. there's every every kind of fucking joke I could have made. Ooh, thank you, I, thank you for not making no, it. I'm gonna be mature about it. All right, you guys have Brittany. You have Bitch. James left. Calm your shit. Stop interrupting my shit. Who has? Who has? Who has? Who has? Who has, who has, who has Beastmaster? I need to know because I need to. It doesn't matter. Go. Fuck. Go. What the fuck? All right, Brittany. Brittany. All right. Here's your. Here's your joke. But finish. Nope. I don't, I almost caught. No, I'm on my shit. All right, Brittany, hit me maybe one more time. I'm sorry. Are you saying title? Finish the, no. I'm, yes, that that oh. is a Brittany song. <clears throat> hit me, this is baby, why we go until midnight. I'm not trying to help you. Help me. Oh, baby, baby. How was I? Mm. How was I supposed how to know? Supposed to know. <laughs> uh-huh. That's all you have. Oh, baby, baby. How was I supposed <laughs> No. And then that's all you have. That's all you have to get is one fucking line. How do they do get you one want me to tell you? Okay. Be- oh. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Who am I? What am I supposed to tell you? The next line or? The next line. Got it. Because that shit happened 27. 27- if you guys are gonna interrupt me for thirty-seven minutes, and then all of a sudden I go into the game, and then like, yeah, no, thirty-seven for, minutes, for sure. sure. Kill, kill yourself. Like kill you. mm, no, I was gonna say kill yourself. That's what. That's gonna be what's cut out. Like, kill yourself. Like, it's not never. <laughs> the TMZ. Yeah. Next line okay. is Brittany, which you chose, baby, baby. How was I supposed to know? Next line. A five. A four. Do you know what, Carmen? A three. Because I can make a guess. A Go two. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That you wouldn't show. Nope. Damn it. A one. A zero. Oh, baby, baby. How, How was I supposed suppose. to know? That no. song that wasn't, wasn't right. right. Give me, give me. Yay. Are you okay? Go ahead. Now you know as like, you sing it with me. Like it was weird. As, oh yes, thank you, thank you, Ash. Oh, as I sing it with you. Hey, mm-hmm. Green Knight. And so that's the next thing on the list is Green Knight, and that's the last thing other than the last game. That's um, Life of Pi, or Slumdog Millionaire. Both guys, same guy. Mm-hmm. Same guy. Uh, more, I more so remember him from uh, Hereditary. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't. Yes. I don't watch scary movies, so I'm 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 the host. 
Esteban. So, uh, I know him from that. Uh-huh. Um, great actor. Uh, I really do want to see a movie where a tiger and him are on a boat. I just haven't had a chance to figure out what's streaming on what. Um, that's a. Uh, what do you think about uh, Green Knight? I, you know what, uh, what I'm excited about is that, yeah, no, fuck you. You know what I'm excited about is that the way that they're, they're gonna accept, almost like a, a a King Arthur story, with a person of color, like like a, not making it next week, last week. You know what I mean? Like I'm 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 excited about like. It shouldn't be a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're you're making it a thing when it shouldn't be a thing. But, no, uh, I absolutely agree. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm making yeah. it a thing because it shouldn't be a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, be upset. Oh, I'm not upset at all. Uh, because the actual premise of the story, if I'm not mistaken, the story of the Green Knight is uh, that night that... Um, the main character, I think that it. Yeah. I no, name. for sure. Um, he's actually King Arthur's nephew, so you're not too far off in regards to that. Um, the trailer looks great. I, I think I'm I'm excited for it. I don't know too much about the Green Knight storyline or the Green Knight tale, um, so I, I'm going to be doing a little bit of research on that uh, for myself because I want to. I want to. I, I I really dig a lot of that that fantasy stuff. Um, you know, King Arthur, um, Merlin, you know, I mean, as a kid, I, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys remember this stuff, but it's going to be a big throwback, uh, but King Arthur and the Knights of Justice, that dope ass cartoon, you know, that was a dope ass cartoon. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm excited for it. I want to see it. I think as far as actors go, I think they picked up some an actor and an actor stuff for it. Yeah. Luis. Yes, sir. Um, with your sleepy type hair, are you okay? Or like, what do you want? What do you want to say about this? Um, nothing that Esteban didn't already say. Uh, it <laughs> yeah. is part of the part of the route. No, I'm I'm, I'm fucking reading reading yeah. shit about him. Yeah. Uh, Here, uh, it's essentially a part of alter- like an alternate verse of uh, King Arthur's Round Table, and so it. Mm-hmm. There were common renditions from the J.R.R. Token uh, of the Green Knight, mm-hmm. but outside of that, it's just that. So it's just it's another interpretation of the Green Knight, which I know absolutely nothing about. If it wasn't for Andres putting it on my radar, mm-hmm. I really wouldn't have known about it. So, so maybe okay. let's throw it to Andres because he knows yeah. more about it. I'm gonna take a shot. Back to you, Andres. Well, we're going to the uh, So it, this is an A24 film, um, the production house. Um, so they've been doing a bunch of good like horror movies as of late. Like they put Indie out, horror films, the ones, yeah. they're the ones that put out Hereditary and Midsummer and Saint Maud. Uh, Midsummer was weird though. <laughs> I Midsummer was very weird. I love Midsummer. Oh, good, I can do good it. Good movie. Once, once good the movie, camera went but... into the boyfriend with the fucking bear bear thing over his, he was gonna was not. I uh... were you able to watch that movie, Ash? No, I wasn't. <laughs> really? That's why when you say, where did you no. stop? When the fucking girl broke her face on the rock. Oh, that was like. Where did uh, twenty think, minutes in? Where did you think that I was in? Like, I am because that's not really a horror film. It was just it was a, uh, I guess drama. I mean, it I was could see the horror aspects to it. Okay, so but I told I no sorry. I apologize. As a drama. My apologize. My shit was, I was five. I saw a chainsaw into a guy's stomach and can still see the blood coming out of his mouth. And that it's imagery. It's all imagery. It has never, has nothing to do now, with is this real life or what? I was going to ask that. Did you see that shit in real life? 
yeah. No, did I say yeah? No, no. So you saw Texas Chainsaw Massacre as a kid and it traumatized you? No, I didn't. I saw a chainsaw go into a guy's gut and his blood come out of his... And that's you what we're trying to, that's what we're trying yeah, to find You out. saw this, this not in a real film. life or in a movie? Oh, no, not in real life. If I thought in real life, I, I don't think I should do this in a podcast. All right, next question. I'm going to respect you. <laughs> uh, Oh, hi there. Hi. Hi. Um, so, oh, yeah, um, it is a Arth- Arthurian story. Uh, okay. and we're, we're, we're at game five, by the way. Where are we? All right. Yeah. Well, go ahead. No. No, he's no, no. I'm just, I want to hear this. I want to hear this. It is King Arthur's nephew, correct? Correct. I believe so, yes. Got it. Mm-hmm. Tell us and... more about it. So I've been uh, actually waiting for this movie for a while um, since it is like A24 is like what Blumhouse was like five years ago, mm-hmm. five to mm-hmm. ten years ago. Hell yeah. And it's putting out the like good horror movies right now. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. The actors are good. Um, the story, it's going to have, they're like holding stuff back, but I think they're going to have more like creatures coming out into it. I'll put it like creatures because we don't know what um, they're going to have coming out so and there's possibilities of sequels where the previous movies from May 24 don't really have room for sequels so uh, we'll see it looks really good for so far from the trailer so and that's one trailer that I did watch because I have been like super interested in waiting for that movie so yeah it, it does I, I agree with you it does have a very strong fantasy uh, aspect to it so I kind of hope that it kind of dives in a little bit more into that. So, yeah. Yep. Who has the fucking... Who's Peacemaster? You're, they're... Why does it matter? What? Why does it matter? doesn't matter. Because I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I held it up twice and they were like, it's not you. Not so, you. I know who it is. It's not you. So why? I know who it is too. You know what it is. All right. He wants to go to sleep. I judge you. I judge. Oh, Joe, 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 Joe. Oh, oh, Joe, Joe. Yeah. It's a motherfucker holding a cat. All right. So, last last game. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> last game. Uh, nope. Here's how you fucking me over. What? what is happening? I still gotta watch. He's, he's looking he's, for the. He's he's like he's like the nosy ass neighbor that like hears shit and he's like near cat. <laughs> I like how he looks into the fish lens too. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's very Ace Ventura. Yeah, <laughs> you're weird, guys. All right, so one or two. Who is the last point? I feel like it's two or two. Uh, Carmen and Luis got the last point. All right. Carmen Luis. First of all, what is this game? What is this category? What are we doing? I, I, I think this is the, the TV theme songs, which was supposed to be game four, but it's now game five. <laughs> Got it. And it's not uh, tied. It's uh, two. It's three to We're one. We're at eleven thirty. Three to one. Yeah. I have a question it for everybody in the group, but it's it's a thing. Is everybody okay with mm-hmm. that? Oh, Depends on the know. thing. I don't, okay. I don't get this shit for like another five weeks. So I have a question. For sure. starting okay. from Esteban to like all of them. My question is whenever you feel comfortable, oh, it's going to go Esteban, uh, bitch face, which is Luis, and then that's Carmen, <laughs> and then Andreas. Here's, here's where I feel comfortable. Here's, here's, uh, uh, where I feel, well, well, like, I feel comfortable in my cocoon. Okay. I still don't know who is Peacemaster, and I feel like, yeah, (laughs) fuck, fuck yeah. All right, so. 
I'm gonna go with uh, uh, in in the way that this happened was Esteban, uh, Andreas, Carmen, and then bitch face, uh, Luis. Uh, there, here is my two questions: Esteban, Andreas, uh, Carmen, and then bitch face. Um, which band do you want? Oh, you fucking bitches! I. <laughs> And that doesn't count Carmen because I don't call girls bitches. So, uh, Esteban, for her. she should do, she should drink double. Um, what band? All right, Esteban, I'm gonna go first, and this counts for everybody in the group. And it's gonna go Esteban, uh, Andreas, uh, Luis, and then it goes Carmen. Uh, even though Bitchface is definitely Luis, which band are you gonna? Which band is first to you coming back to you being you? Huh? So, meaning, uh, Metallica is uh, it's gonna be a thing. No, fuck, it's like it was never not gonna be a thing. I'm hosting today. You, <laughs> it's never it not gonna be a thing. Down. All right, no, I'm. I will settle down, but you guys know what to expect. If I'm gonna host, it's it's. it's we know be- we know what to expect, which is okay, fuckery. So SD, fuckery is going SD, on. It's, you expect fuckery, Esteban. <laughs> what band are you as comfortable as we are? What band are you most comfortable with coming back? And then what band are you willing to take a chance with? All notes. Next. <laughs> there's uh, there's Guns N' Roses for me, which you're fucked. And then there's there's bands that I'm willing to be like, listen, Luis, here's the thing. I'm gonna show up here. You know what I mean? Like there's people you Okay, can- so you are so are you asking like what is a guilty pleasure band that like No, there is he wants to know what there is band a ba- you no, would no, really no. like right with. And is there is a band on June fourteenth that's going to happen, and there's a ju- a band on June fifteenth that's going to happen. So you're asking me which one's going to go, which one I'm going to no, pick? No, I'm helping per California. There is there's restrictions on June fourteenth and June fifteenth. Yeah, this is a COVID question. What band is most comfortable seeing first? Basically. Okay. Fucking explain everything, but go ahead. I still don't know who has. Should I, should that was a it's, thumbs up. It's not you. It's not, it's you. not you. I know. So well, Ash to, has it. If it's not me. Yeah, it was me. It was Ash. Yeah, he has it. So. No, it's just that one. But go ahead and take your shot or drink or whatever. You Wait, drink. you didn't take yours, bitch. When when you got hit yeah, with mine. Oh no! Add a baby. Oh, no. Add a baby. That's oh, my God. baby right there. Oh, it's it's God. 30, 12. I'm not gonna stay up till two again. You're not. There's only um, one after this. Honestly, I it would probably be, and it's a band that I haven't seen yet that I've been dying. But to your your see. your band is the guilty pleasure that you're willing to deal with without a mask, and the band that you're willing to deal with like. All right, first band, I'm, I'm the Cure. I'm down, and then um, Depeche Mode is like the 14th and the 15th. Is you know what I mean? Like mm, the fine line. No, I don't know because I'm not. I don't know, man. I, that that's a tough question. Did you go, Coheed and Cambria, and like on the 14th, and then on on the 15th, it's fucking the Cure. You know what I mean? Then it would be Coheed and Cambria. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So that's your answer. All right, Luis, who has been following the question the entire time? Uh, I'd say the one that I would come back to would be Slipknot. Yeah. Uh, that would well, be my... I would say Slipknot, Slipknot and Linkin Park are, are both my core. That's my me. That's No, the... but that's the thing that I just said was like the one that you cannot see ever is like your Slipknot. Right, Slipknot, and then no, excuse me, Linkin Park, and then as a full band, and right. then right, and, and then, then the one that I will is is okay. Slipknot. But, 
But you cannot see Lincoln Park in its heyday anymore. So that wouldn't be a fair question at all. You know what I mean? Why is it, why is it always Louise? All right. I've had it up. No, not Louise. She did have it up. Yeah. Right. Last one. Last question. Because we need to finish. Oh wow. Okay. You're you're totally skipping what we just were talking about. Got it. Okay. Um before you even skip that, Luis, did you go to the last concert for System of a Down? Did. Yeah, the reunion. Did you? Yeah. They I was uh there they... too. What? No, I really was there. We okay, were hanging let... out in different sections probably. No, let me tell you my story. There was a mosh pit happening, right? And then this guy in the mosh pit totally like hooked me from under my chin Nobody. and like janked my face up and I garbage you. <laughs> you you can't... for like 37 you... minutes okay first of all you cannot do that when I'm like telling a story minutes. yeah no okay I have to look at this pad am I the only one that looks at Ash right now and he looks like a fucking stressed out reporter from the Daily Bugle <laughs> I'm like, oh, I, gotta get, I gotta write that paper about Spider Man. <laughs> he look, he looks like that. Um, oh my god, that's uh, the the teacher that doesn't show up. The um, the teacher doesn't show up. No, 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 no. Yep, you're still, you still. No, to... shut up. When we were in high school, <laughs> and the, the teacher thing. didn't show up, the substitute teacher. Substitute. He, yeah. he totally looks at the substitute teacher that is a creep. I am not saying. Yeah. That. <laughs> I, 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 am, I, am, I, am, I am not saying that you're a creep, Ash. I, 100. I am not saying that, but you technically look yeah, like I a technically creeper. Look like the person that went to Knox Gary Farm that threw up on people, no, that's you. Drink your drink, and then you have your shit. Oh, how yeah. cute! Do you yeah. think I went to Knox Gary Farm and I threw up? I don't that know what the fuck you went to, but I know you threw up. Put, mm. you, no, you threw up on people. Don't, don't, would you, don't. Would you? Would you? Would you? Not because I wanted to. No, Do no. I have a recollection of it? No, I don't. No, okay. Sorry, I don't have a recollection of what I did last week. I don't give a fuck about that. What I give a fuck about is it's your drink and then you have Peacemaster. So. Got it. I'll that's, drink to that. No, oh, that's since eight o'clock. So go ahead, drink your shit, and you're Peacemaster. Hey, can we uh, move it on? It got to so the, much real than I meant song? it, and it went weird. It did get weird. Can we get on to the with the TV theme songs? Yeah, we can. Cool. Don't get weird. Don't Although get weird. I was enjoying her mosh pit story. I wanted Don't to hear how she got hooked. Weird. Don't No, get I weird. really did get hooked. Okay. I um yes. it was the um System of a Down concert, the last one that they had. Yeah, yeah I was there. And um <laughs> Yeah, I was there. Go on. Go on. Sorry. Chilling. On. No, the mosh pit broke yes, out. We were we were totally we were totally in the we were in the front, right? And then the mosh pit broke out. I think it was needles that they were playing. And this guy hooked me from my chin and like raised me. And I still have the picture of me. I have like stitches coming from here all the way down because he literally Janked me off my feet oh my God. and like dug his nails up. First of all, I was not even in the mosh pit. The mosh pit broke out behind me, and then he, like, like my, fucking pulled you. In. He literally pulled me in, and like my friends that were there, right in the concert, and my boyfriend, they were like, "What the fuck, dude? Like we just saw you flying out," and I was like, "Yeah." They're like, I guess Carmen's down with the mosh pit. (laughs) Exactly. And I was like, technically, any other mosh pit down, I'll I'll do it. But this one, I was not even aware that it was happening until, like, I was janked out of my face. And that's the story I'll share, that I have a picture of me with, like, stitches from my chin going from here, from the System of a Down concert. And... I probably won't ever join a mosh pit after that. Yeah. Kind of now, the other side of that coin that 
Carmen doesn't say is she came out with blood dripping across her face, and the guy that that did fish hook her, ear, just fucking trophy, trophy, trophy. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went far. Back to you, Ash. What doesn't get said is that, like, if any one of us four were there, like, one of us would be in fucking jail. Mm-hmm. We'd, we'd have fucked his ass up. Oh, yeah. so, uh, How uncomfortable was that fucking fucking story for all of us? Exactly. All right, so who has the last point? I'm so sorry. I really, no, like, no, I wasn't trying to make it uncomfortable for everyone. It's just no, a thing that happened. Story. You have to know the people okay, that know you. Look, I I understand you because I mentioned I, I mentioned my boyfriend at the time. I I get it. I mentioned no, the boyfriend don't. that I was dating at the time. No, I I do. Okay, cool. So no, don't get what we're saying. It it doesn't give it it doesn't give it an excuse. I 100% understand that. Sure. I do yeah. 100% right, understand so- that. Oh, TV theme songs. Mm, what is okay, happening? we're moving on. No, we're yeah. moving on. We're moving on. It's fine. That was, that it's was fine. my question. <laughs> we're trying to move on. I have no idea what just happened. We both know that half of that story was like, okay, we're both going to jail. Like, you know, you, all of us already knew that. You know what I mean? Like, okay, so Andreas had to go. <laughs> He's, he's going after that guy right now. <laughs> he had to go to sleep like, me too well. I would definitely be in jail. Seven minutes ago. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Okay. I think all four of us would be in prison right now. Of course we would. Of course we would. You know what it I would have done? The fucking situation. It I'd would rape his like, ass, but not in a gay way. In a yeah, you would have. So You're not gonna hurt my friend kind of way. You know? would have. Oh. Oh, it would have been. Oh my God, you have no idea how dumb it would have been. So, hi, I'm hosting. I've also <laughs> drank a little bit. Uh, I don't know who's Peacemaster. I feel like it's Luis. Who but... the fuck cares? Just move on with the game. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, it's Andreas, but now I know who's being it. I know everything. It's not him. All right. Nice as host, you as host, you should really keep track of this stuff. All it's right. Gonna so, it's gonna be a thing. So it's gonna be a major thing. I'm still not really happy about that fucking story. I'm really I'm not. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I not really you. mean. Not I mean, even. is it mostly because it's not in gallery mode? Is that why? Who is team one and who is team two? Team I, one is Andres and right, Esteban. Andres because and they Andres. have gotten the most questions right. So let's oh, give it to so them. They are, they are, yeah. they are team one. All right, but we still have Andres said no to the thing, which you got no to the accent. So you guys have a point above that. That's why we started. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a inside yeah, G. We're still two points ahead. I've been keeping track. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> ah. Oh, angry. I still, I don't get to fucking host until like <laughs> a week and a half. So everybody, shut up. All right. So here's, here's. Do you want? To, hey, uh, I just want everybody in the audience who is stuck by us with for like two fucking hours that we had like literally three topics and we made the show two hours long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, this is for you. We warned everybody in the very beginning that Esteban knew we only had three topics and it's still going to go. So I, I just want to give a special thank you. Go talk to one and here's going to go. I, we'll go. We'll go. We'll, fuck it. We'll go fucking. I just want to give a special shout out to Evan Williams for sponsoring this podcast and sponsoring the bottle that Ash has. Yep. All right. Back to you, Ash. Yep. That's me pressing the button and it still didn't work. Okay, that's your song one. Song two. You're, you hear it or not? Okay. 
I understand. I understand. But no, I, Louis, no, I'm I understand. sorry. Louis, that was you, bro. That was that you. was you. That was you. I understand. I understand. Why are you both no, drinking? I didn't even take that. Why are you both drinking? Because Luis is my fucking backup. All right, so. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, this oh is, Luis is your backup. Oh. Do the fucking song so we can do the show. Okay, that's song one. Chillin and Andres. Okay. There's your song two. Smallville is the second one? Yeah. Okay. Song three. South Park. Okay. Song three. And the first the first one on how many are there? How many are there? No, hold on. Oh, okay. Only on song four. Okay. Okay, that's song four. Did you hear it? Did you not yeah. hear it? Okay, song four is well. Do you want to go one by one or do you want to do it at the end? We've been doing it one by one, haven't we? Yeah, we've been doing it one by one. Well, that's why I'm asking you. That's why I'm asking you. If ever there's dead silence, that means there's a game that's happening. That's Luis. Okay, so uh, song number five is... It was already me. I didn't do it. It's five. Again, everybody good? Song five. Futurama. Okay. So right now I have not song one, song two, song three, song four, song five. So you're at four. Okay. I, I don't know why, but the first one I want is... to say... If you get it, it's fucking the shit. Two guys, a girl, and a pizza place. Nope, you're done. Four. Okay. All right. So team two. Team two is. Wait, what was it? What was the first one? Uh, the. Uh, so it was uh the sweet life of uh, Dick Face. Zach and Cody. There it was. <laughs> what did I really? Say? I know it started off with Dick Face. <laughs> Never would have gotten that. <laughs> <laughs> I really started off with dick face. All right. I will give it I will I will give you guys this. Mm. I'm gonna give you guys no. I, I hit the wrong button twice. Nope. What's happening? I hit the wrong button twice. What wrong button? I'm I'm trying to come what back in. Say that that again. Oh no. Hey, come oh. Oh. oh yeah. See, she no, she made it weirder. No, no, I didn't. No, I'm trying. No, stop your shit. It's not. There it is. There it is. All right. Welcome back. Here's my shit. No. Where are we? You're, You're on team two now. Your shit. We got four. You're on team two. I do. You have four. Mm -hmm. If if team two gets five, I will take mm -hmm. two shots to the dome. Five? But yeah, other than that, get to punch you. I guarantee you, it's not gonna happen. I promise you, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna with happen. the left hand, Luis can punch me in the face, and he's wanted to for a very long time. But with your left hand, Max. I, I give think a lot of people permission. in this group. All right, fuck you it. Want my right. How, right. how about right. this? With the left hand, Luis gets I to punch, me and and Carmen gets to slap me because I feel like your punch is way less than Carmen. So. Here's what's gonna happen. Well, to be so bad. Go. God. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. not you fool! It's not you! It's not you! It's not you! It's not you! <laughs> it's, not you. <laughs> it's me. It's fine. No, no, no! I I still have oh, it. all kinds of angry. All kinds of angry. I have to pee. So bad. I don't know who to push it off to. Okay, please uh, go pee. Go pee. Go just pee. Just go. Just go. Go. Yeah. Go. Yeah. You're go. already done. We already know who the peace master is. It's not. It's not you guys. It's still not I, you. Go pee. <laughs> go fucking take a piss. I do love Andreas. Uh, fuck it. Oh my god. 
All right. Actually, if I was being fair, uh, Luis is the one, and he was scratching his eyes with two fingers. So, <sighs> who has oh, a good story? Who has a good story? Oh wait, um, just go, dude. We'll 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 talk. No, yeah, please. Oh, go talk go. shit about me. All right, got to pee so bad. Last game. So bad. Can I die yet? I literally have to be up at four thirty. Oh, we're gonna go. Ah, damn it. I'm trying. <laughs> I mean, I think if you bow down now, bro, you I don't think it would hurt the podcast. Esteban, look at the screen. Son of a bitch. No, do that. All right, there we go. Mm-hmm. So when he comes back, fuck him. And I agree with you, Andres. Even though I don't have to work tomorrow, I know your pain. I still have to move my car in the morning. Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys got you guys got street sweep, uh, street sweepers? Well, uh, because Long Beach sucks with parking, I always have to park mm-hmm. illegally. And I move my car at four in the morning. Because we've timed it when the parking meter people come by. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody hold your hold your two. Oh well, yeah, dude. That's what that's what I was saying. Because we already went on this, so if you bought out now, it wouldn't be a big deal. It's also true. I'm not gonna ditch the show. Fucking eight, it's twelve. I really yeah, wish you your duties. Did you really expect anything different when Ash is hosting? I kind of so, did. Did you? Okay. Then, no, then to, shame quote, on you. to quote Kill Bill, for a little while there, yeah, I kind of did. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> no, I really did, though. I, <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh, yeah, we'll be fine. You know what, bro? Shame on you for that. I know, I know. I didn't think he was going to be so energized today. It's not that. It's the whiskey talking. No, he was pretty energized, too. It's that White Claw, dude. Runs in his veins. Oh, there he is. All right, Ooh, everybody. There yep. it is. Oh, there yes. it is. Yes. There there is. I had my fingers up the whole time. Suck my dick. You never said that again. I will not suck it, but I just want, I want Ash to see it. All right, cool. He saw it. Go on. All right. Drink the drink. Uh, all right. We're at the last game, right? Yes. Yeah. Team one. For like 20 That's minutes. Correct. Team one already wins. Team two. For 20 minutes. Team two. Mm-hmm. Let's go. <clears throat> hey, Andres, how much longer you got in this boot camp? We're done. What? Until I decide not to go, so. Oh, right ready? on. Okay. <coughs> and whose cough was that? That was me. SD. Oh. Oh. Why? <laughs> Sounded like a couple of Please tell food. me about it. Here we go. Well, I mean, it is uh, allergy season up here in Sacramento and it sucks balls during the day for pollen. Ready? Exact, just like that. Just very yep, fun. yep, yep. Why did he put headphones on? I don't know. You haven't been wearing them all all day. So <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking right, game. Go. God damn it. I'm wearing it. Oh, mm. Five seconds. Mm-hmm. I got it. Okay, that's five <sighs> seconds. Here we go. I know the song. I know the, I know the sound, but I don't know where it's going. Seconds, and then we got. Five seconds. And then we got. Yeah, that's the Lone Ranger. <laughs> nope. Wait, why do we get the fucking 50s shit while... I got it. You know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. We fucking failed. Can just, I go? Yeah, just give it to us. Yeah, play. All no, right. No, All right. Go for it. Here's, go for here's it. how this happened. Andreas, what is number one? Uh, fuck. Play it. It's the monkeys. Hey, hey. Uh, okay. All right. What's number two? Play it. Curb your enthusiasm. Okay. What's number three? Beavis and Butthead. Okay. What's number four? Bonanza. 
All right, what's number five? Gilligan's Island. Boom, that's five. Yeah. Take two shots. So, <laughs> that's my motherfucker. He chose what the fuck number it was, and it wasn't. That was all five. Suck my dick. It wasn't me. That's the number that was chosen. I will not. You know, yeah. that's good. You shouldn't. You drank your wine. I sold another point, so we won by what? Three, four? You guys won by like, yeah. Three or four. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, this has been Comics Podcast. Uh, I, it went longer than it was expected. Three hours. Um, always does. I'm really trying to uh, make these game things a thing, but it's it's, it's not. It's fun because there's people that give up early, and then there's people that have the peace sign, and then that makes it a thing. And then you know, it's it's it's. Yeah, oh, that's a, that should be a shot. That's the last shot of the shot. You know what? From now on, he killed it. That looked whoever like has the last drink of the night has a shot. Dude, he killed like the whole thing. Who's gonna be a bitch? Carmen. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even call that. That's not even me. I should not have said a, who's going to be a bitch. That's not even me. That's not even me. Right. Not even so, me. This has been comics. We are everywhere okay. because fucking a, we're amazing. And um, we are everywhere because we are you and we are every part of you. Whether you're this part of nerd or you're this general public nerd. We are no. everywhere. No. Good night. Good night. Good night.